What's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. This thing's awesome looking. So can't wait to run this thing. Definitely looks cool. Awesome job Red Cat did with this. So I'm gonna go ahead, jump on. I know I'm going live earlier because I was kind of excited. Even I did an unboxing, so I'll probably post that even tomorrow on it too. But uh, super stoked with this thing. This thing looks awesome. Love these tires on here. Suspension on it's really good. So far I'm liking it all. Uh, so heck of a good job with Red, Red Cat doing it. And uh, you got the LED lights in the front and red ones in the rear. Even they upgraded their uh, radio. Not really upgraded, but they did change their stickers to match their new logo from uh, the original Red Cat logo. And they came with some stickers and everything. Yeah, it's really cool. I like it, if you can't tell. <laughs> so really pumped on that one. So, but yeah, I'll have a video dropping tomorrow. Um, if anybody's talking right the second, um, I haven't got into the chat as of yet, but... I'm getting there, I'm working on it, guys. Working on it. So yeah, see here, buddy. And I'm waiting for my my ad to come through here. All right, thirteen. What's going on, guys? Appreciate you joining in. Cody at four hundred four. What's going on, Johnny? Appreciate you joining in. Eddie's in the house too. We got J Jeff C's in the house. One of my um, moderators. So appreciate it as well, Mr. Lopez. Appreciate you joining in. Who else we got? Mason. Appreciate it. Let's see who else. Mr. RC, the Kaiju is in the house as well. For sure is in the house, right? So Mr. I'm not sure. RC's. I'm gonna go with RC's on that one. Mr. 2020. <laughs> What's going on? M White. I'll go with that. Island RC Duke showing up as always. Appreciate you joining in, man. <laughs> so. Uh, so yeah, this Kaiju. This thing's. This thing's looking good, man. I gotta tell you. Um, so I'm gonna just give it like you know a minute or two, just to kind of. Do I need to go a minute or two, maybe? <laughs> but uh, super stoked, man! I just got these in. Eh, it's been a few hours now because I had to pack them all up and get them shipped out. So all you guys that ordered everything like that, all gone. So shipped them all out. So good on that one. So I definitely appreciate all the support you guys ordering these things too, and. Uh, uh, my wife and I we were kind of talking too. It's like, hey, maybe we should do something. We'll have to rig something up or whatever. But uh, you know, some kind of bell when people make orders while we're live or something like that, or you know, so kind of be kind of cool anyway. But uh, nonetheless, this thing is awesome looking. So I'm really happy about it. So let me uh, just check in, see who else is kind of dropping in here. How many miles per hour does it run? We're gonna find out about that one. Hopefully, I'll have something by. If I can run it tomorrow, then I'll run it tomorrow. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put belted tires on this thing. Why? Just because I don't want these to balloon. And also, these are really for off-road. So we'll see how fast this thing goes. And also, should do some little competition. Brand new. I haven't even ran this one either. The Dementor. This is a, over a $500 plus vehicle. $399. We'll call it $400. A little over $500 for this guy. And uh, let me kind of show you too. Between the two, so things are neck and neck. So 6S, 6S, 150 amp. This thing's gonna fall off. Hopefully, you can kind of see you can at least see the wheel base on this thing anyhow. So really close. I know the wheels are kind of turned on here as well. <laughs> and I'm running out of space. Let's go ahead and do that one more time for you guys. So yeah, not bad as far as that the difference in the wheel. So. I think a lot of it is to do with the wheelie bar on this one anyhow. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back for just right now. We don't want it, we don't want the old Dementor stealing all the spotlight of the Kaiju. Um, another Jeff's in the house. What's going on, man? <laughs> Appreciate all you guys joining in. So very cool. Appreciate it. Jeff G. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, they even give you, so you get some tools with it as well. So you get it. 17 millimeter wrench. So these are 17 millimeter hexes that are on these tires, which is nice. You get some other little hexes, Allens, whatever you want to call it. And you get some s stickers that are on here. And you're not gonna really gonna see them too well. I'll bring them up so you guys can kind of take a look at them too. But uh, I don't think you guys really want to see the stickers. You're like, well, I would rather just see, but you can kind of look at them anyhow. So there's some stickers in there. I don't know how the glare is or not. But let me give you a close up of the real deal here. So that way you guys can see it. I know you guys, if you're interested in this vehicle, you've already kind of been looking at it anyhow, but I'm liking it. And then we'll pop this body off here too. 
Hopefully you can see that pretty good. See, so yeah, let me show you. Nope. That's another thing too. Body clips are tethered, so that's nice. And look at that. You even get a little dust cover with it too. Keep it a little bit cleaner on the inside of it. I had a little problem getting that thing back on. I was like, yeah, that's pretty nice, but it's kind of a pain in the butt to get back on. And uh, let's pop that off there anyhow. Sorry, that was five minutes later. Um, 25 kilogram servo that's in there on an off switch, 150 amp ESC, 2500, no, 2100 kV motor that's in there. Plastic spur gear, someone has, did ask about it. And it, you got your Dean connections that are on there. So you, you got the little loop or whatever. So not bad, I like it. And then look, suspension on that thing is good. So I like it. I was just kind of dropping that thing like, like, I mean, I don't have batteries in there, but still, like that suspension is solid. Like it's really nice. And it's adjusted almost to the very top as well. So, you know, most of those like, they want to bottom out or whatever. So this one seems to be pretty good. Okay, cool, Robert, you got tracking information on there? What's going on, Gap? Appreciate you joining in. Yee yee. Just RC Daniels in the house too. Mr. Robert. Dying to see it run. Yeah, I know, right? I've seen 10 unboxings, no videos. Yeah, I know. What is it? Lame RC drove it on 4S test run. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen, I just got him in. So I was just kind of hustling. You know, I usually do my live stuff. So I was like, oh. And I would do it live and run it. I don't have any batteries really charged up for it. I was unprepared. But um, I know some other people are going to get some running videos out anyhow. But as a dealer, I was just trying, I was focused more on making sure all the orders got shipped out today since they all came in. So I was like, thank God, all gone. I mean, we still have more, but the ones that I had coming to me, those are all gone anyhow. I had ordered some extra ones, but with the orders that came through, they all got shipped out. So that's a good thing. So not worry about that, but I did have one at least left for me. So that was nice. So yeah, I'm digging this thing. This thing looks good. Joe, my, my credit card has been... <laughs> Has a bunch of uh, activity lately. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Jeff C. I'm sure it does, man. All these RCs that are coming out and everything like that. It's like, oh, it's crazy. But um, I think this is one not to, to skip over, really, to be honest with you. Um, I think whatever you want to call it as far as, but I'm going to call it, it's Red Cat's vehicle. We're going to go with that. So anybody else that says, oh, it's such and such, whatever else, I, I, I'm going to ignore it because uh, it's Red Cat's. You know, as far as, to all I know, that's how I look at it. So, not ignorance, it's just I'm going by what I sell. So, uh, but I do like as far as this chassis that's on here too, that plastic. Uh, the plastic's not bad. I mean, as far as what I'm saying, as far as I don't mind plastic chassis as long as they're rigid and they're not going to snap on me or whatever. I'm just looking how things are kind of put together. So, like, even this piece here is like, seems to be like all one piece, but separate from the chassis. So, these little shock towers, body towers, whatever you want to call it, seem to be individual, even like, some of it here. So I'm just kind of examining it as of right now too. But um, I had some people say, oh man, they put Dean connections on there. That should be fine, really. I know some people want to run like XT60s, XT90s on there. Uh, you know, probably more like on the XT90 side of it. But hey, if you solder, you know, put some other connectors on there and call it a day. Because it looks like it's got 10 gauge wire that's on here as well. So pretty thick. That would be expected for 150 amp ESC anyhow. So nice, uh, thick. Uh, wire that's on there and I do like the velcro straps as well. I always like the velcro over those plastic straps uh, That they give you or whatever those little bars. So yeah, definitely like it. I Was wondering the, the, the diff fluids and oh instead of uh, grease, so I'm not sure um, what, what happened here Duke what's good. Hey, what's oh? Beetle 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 Bailey. <laughs> what's going on man? Let's see, RC Daniels, let's see, Sip Gap. Okay, let's see. Uh, Mr. Beetle? <laughs> I want, oh, let's see, let's see. Uh, RC Daniel, I wonder, do the, oh, this got fluid in them instead of grease. That's the only thing I don't know about. Just kind of, whatever they do have. Let's see here. You know, if you didn't have anything in there, you know how you can kind of spin it pretty good, but even just doing this too. 
I don't, I would feel like that's more of like a grease. You know, most time they're going to put grease. I wouldn't think they'd put like an oil because that way it, the grease kind of sticks to all the gears where the oil would just sit at the bottom. Um, I guess you're talking about like diff fluids and stuff like that too where they're pretty thick. But it doesn't feel too bad. I mean, some other ones where you can just kind of spin them in opposite directions and they seem like you can tell like, oh, they don't have nothing in them. It's not thick or anything like that, but eh, hard to say until you kind of get one, you kind of fill it out. And I believe if I was looking at the videos too on it, how they took the front diff cover off, the rear diff cover as well to get to those gears. Like it didn't look that bad. So I can see like one, two, three, I mean it's like four. I'm not 100% sure as far as how many screws you have to get to uh, get this thing off of here, but it doesn't look really complicated because it looks like it's gonna pull off from the front. Some of them pull like they come off differently uh, or they separate this way, and it looks like it separates this way anyhow, but just the little front half of it. So some of them are a pain in the butt to get to, but those don't look too bad. And then again, as far as where the motor's at, like as far as that gear um, getting to it, doesn't look doesn't look too bad, but it's hard to say until I can actually get in there and start tinkering with it a little bit more. Anyhow, I know some of you guys are like, "Well, let's take it apart now, man. Let's do it." <laughs> and just kind of feeling those plastics a little bit. It's hard to say. I mean, I'm not like super bash or anything like that. You guys kind of know that. If you don't, then now you know. As <laughs> for, but um, I just kind of was eager to get one. I just love these tires too. I want to put. Tires aren't really that expensive. I mean, as far as these tires, I already kind of looked at them. So we'll be getting a lot of stuff here soon. Excited premiere day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just chilling gap. Sorry, guys. Uh, the sound of the wheels is just so sweet. Oh, yeah, as far as the side of these wheels here, these wheels look on point. They look good. I like the way they feel. <laughs> so not bad at all. Uh, let's see. OMG, what's up, man? Let's see. Oh, what's up, Chase? What's going on, man? Just got here. That's cool, man. Better late than never. You should do the. Oh, you should be. You should be on. Oh, CCX uh, RC. I was watching his stuff again too. RC uh Yeah, the conspiracy. I saw that as far as the conspiracy theory. Who do he have? He had. He had the uh, kaiju on there, and then also he had. He had one. Did he have the Dementor as well? He had something else. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, CCX RC something like that. Yeah, CCX, RC. But I saw some of his other stuff months ago where he had a whole bunch of like monster trucks and stuff. So I was like, oh, he's in a pretty cool spot. I was like, man, jealous. Thanks for getting the orders out for us. Yeah, no problem, Robert. I appreciate all the orders, man. Definitely. I was like, yes, this is nice, man. So I definitely appreciate it. I'd like to have more days like this where it's like, oh, we got to, you know, hustle to get orders out. But you know what? I like that because making money then <laughs> so definitely appreciate all you guys all the support too so this was a cool this cool car cool truck whatever you want to call it but uh i did a little unboxing but i'll probably post it up tomorrow anyhow main thing was it's like oh, i just want to share this with you guys too just super stoked on it um it's cool to have you know something that like i like it and it's something i sell too so it's really nice and i know you guys were interested in it anyhow because if you weren't then uh i wouldn't have had any orders too so really digging it so definitely appreciate all the support. What's up, Clay? Clay's RC? Fresh Squeeze RC, what's going on, bro? Brandon, how you doing, man? So, yeah, so the Kaiju. Let me go ahead and put this on there so you guys can take a look at it with the body. And I do like, speaking of the body on it, too, and like I already probably said, but, you know, like this is what Arma does where they tether those to the um, body shell, what have you. So I like that. I'm sure not hit anything. But it looks good. Even I just, I'll do it again here anyhow. But I was like, man. Like, it, I just have to get a little bit of extra weight on there because this thing just soaks up the, right? It soaked it up pretty good there. It didn't really bounce or anything other than my, I know you're probably like, oh my God, it's hitting the mic. <laughs> Everything's hard. So won't do that too often. But I just was like, okay, this, this uh, suspension is pretty good on here. And this uh, loop keeps coming out. So sorry for the rattling noise, but yeah, it's up. <laughs> same, same. Fresh, no, oh, fresh squeeze. Same, same. I thought you were leaving it. Excuse me, I got the hiccups, darn it. Okay. Got excited. Must have sucked in too much air at one time. <laughs> that thing looks good. Reminds me of the, uh, oh, the, the Max 4S. 
it's a 6S. No, so, yeah, that'd be kind of cool if I had a Max or something like that where I had some other people like, yeah, I got one of those, you know, let's do a little competition with it or something. You know, 6S here, but I think that thing was pretty quick as far as if I saw some videos on it too as far as the Traxxas Max. I don't own one, like I said, but it looked pretty cool. I don't know what the gear ratio is on here anyway. It's not really going to be for a speed truck anyhow, but I will put some belted tires on it for sure and uh, let it rip and see how fast it goes. I kind of want to get some more of these tires anyhow. I do like these tires. These things look good. And they're not like crazy expensive like the Proline stuff. Sorry, Proline, but your stuff's expensive. Um, I mean, they have pretty decent stuff, but I don't want to spend... I mean, these are probably almost like the feel like the same softness of some of those other Proline tires. So, But yeah, I wouldn't mind putting these like on my Monster... Well, those are seven... Yeah, I kind of come up with something. I would like to put these on a few different vehicles that I have. Anyhow, just thinking. Oh, uh, even my shredder. And he's a little bit small for the shredder, but yeah, those would be a little bit small looking. But it might, yeah, we'll have to see. Maybe I'll have to switch it out a little bit. They build the diff tights. Oh, uh, let's see here. What's up, Joe? Oh, what's up, Ke Kelly? What's going on, man? Oh, Tuesday you leave out of here, fresh grease. Okay, right on. Beetle Bailey, that thing looks good. With my oh, okay, yeah, I already said that. <laughs> so it looks. It looks around the same size of the, of the, let's see, about the same size. I don't know if I didn't catch it all there, but I was looking at what Chase was right in there. It looks bigger than the, uh, oh, the Rustler, but smaller than the uh, Kronos. So the Kronos is bigger. I mean, I can show you, like, the Kronos. So we can see, like, oh, yeah, like, Kronos size. You guys can see that. Kronos is, needs to go on a diet. But yeah, let me go ahead. This that doesn't really do the justice. I think it always looks funky on the camera. A lot of people say that too. It's like, yeah, the camera doesn't really give you that depth perception too well. It doesn't give you it doesn't relate in size to. But let's show you this one here. So So you can see it. That that's a better comparison because now you can actually see it. So yeah, there you go. Difference there. But let's put this guy back. Need some oil on her, so. And, but like I was just showing you guys earlier too, but if you didn't catch it, I'll just throw it back up here again, anyhow. But you know, the size of the tire, so those gonna make a little bit of difference for sure. But then you can see it here, like, oh, okay. Not, not big difference between now with this uh, Corrali Dementor, and then you have the Kaiju from Red Cat, so. That way you can kind of see those two. Uh, I do like as far as the Red Cat one with the wheelie bar because it, it's it got rubber that's rubber wheelie bar. And it's adjustable too. I don't know how it's going to hold up as far as you guys bashing them and stuff like that. I'm going to leave this one here. So sorry, Kaiju. I don't want to have to take away all your spotlight. But I figure we got... I'm going to move this box. We don't need the box anymore. A little dust cover. It's a little hair net for it. And then as far as this radio too... So I like the radio. I mean, yeah, I wish they had like some kind of rubber grip that was on here instead of that plastic. On, but all in all, I mean, it has a rubber grip that's on there. Yeah, it it works. You know, as far as that part goes. So it kind of starting. I'm starting to kind of just realize, you know, what these RTRs, some of these they just companies just overlook the radio and just give you something crappy. But I would say like the Red Cat one, I like it over. So I mean, this one even feels really light. This one feels this one feels better in the hand. Uh, you know, rubber or foam grip on this one, rubber grip on this one. All in all, my range was fine when I had with my Kronos, where some people were saying about range, but I had no problem with mine having range. I haven't driven this one yet. This is the one I won uh, thanks to some of you guys that followed me on Instagram and everything like that and gave it a like. Um, I did a thank you on that one, but definitely appreciate. That one that was a whole HRP had a contest for the dealers, and that's how I was able to win this one if I was showcasing their pictures on my social media groups. Now on YouTube, it didn't work that way, but sorry, I don't want to lose out what you guys are talking about, but kind of want to give you that insight there. But I like this one, I mean, for 400 bucks, you know, you're paying a little over 500 bucks for this one. We'll have to see, you know, difference. Loom chassis here, plastic chassis here. You know, loom. You know, there's some other little differences here. A little bit more rubber. These feel 
I don't know as far as when it comes to the tires like which one's softer this might be a little bit like it's sidewalls are softer feeling but these aren't as tall either so it's hard to say but they both feel like a pretty soft compound but squeezing like it's just groping those tires it feels weird uh let's see here is the is the max size oh it's a max size for sure yeah no doubt chase let's see i meant oh oh the udr okay chase you're talking about the udr autocorrect okay right on Jeff C, in case uh, anyone is wondering about the metal spur gear for the 144 one, uh, I have, oh, okay, so gotcha, so the 144. Let's see here, Mr. Red, what's going on, Red? Red Rocks, RC, uh, let's see here, how much is the Corrali? So the Corrali one, if I'm not mistaken, this thing is right around, I can look, let me, let me check here so I can get it, exact idea. This one's like 529 for the uh, Kronos, the Team Corrali. And let me just be 100% sure. I thought that one was a little bit cheaper, if I'm not mistaken on it. And I can kind of find out, if you're looking at the Dementor. But I want to be accurate anyhow on that part of it. So let's see. If I get it, maybe someone else is already like, oh, I already looked at it, I found it. <laughs> maybe you already found it. Oh, okay, so same price. So $529.99. Five twenty nine ninety nine for both those vehicles, six S power, and then three ninety nine for this guy, six S power. So yeah, okay, cool. I was wondering. I think there was one. Oh, I was thinking of the Python, was the one that was four sixty nine, which is a little bit. It's just their buggy of it. So yeah. Um. Let's see here. Is it bigger? Oh, is. Oh, Ryan, what's going on? Let's see. Three hundred two RC. Cool truck, dude. <laughs> yeah, appreciate that one. 302, appreciate you joining in. Let's see, Ryan. Oh, okay. It's bigger than the uh, Pro MT 4x4. The Pro MT... Okay, the Red Cap Pro MT... I would say... They ha yeah, I would say that one's... This is bigger. I had it as far as the... Let's see, the Pro MT. Wait, hold on. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know. The Pro Line MT. I'm thinking... When you said... Okay, so the Pro Line... I never owned that one, so I'm not sure if it's... If there are around the same size or not, so I couldn't, I don't have that one. Uh, let's see, let's see here, Beta Bailey, as far as when it comes to, uh, oh, 399, but uh, parts, so parts are coming. There's already some parts, um, as far as on our website, I haven't had them listed up as of yet because there's no pictures with anything, so I'm waiting on pictures to come in, so that way I can post it all up, but yeah, they already, uh, Red Cat's got the parts and everything like that. Some of them, some of them are all in as of yet, but yeah, the parts, part supports already starting to come in. So I'll have some stuff lo probably loaded up probably during the weekend or during next week. I got always updating the website. So yeah, I just got to try to update it all so we can get all those new parts in. Uh, let's see here, Joe, what is the Kaiju smell? It smells good. <laughs> Now, it doesn't have, like, there's not really strong smell to it, to be honest with you. I usually smell this stuff, and like, oh, okay, you know, like, oh, that smells like Red Cat RC car. You know, there's some of them, like, but really, honestly, it doesn't, there's not really any kind of strong odor to it. Even the tires, there's not a lot to it. And I am one to smell stuff anyhow, but, uh, yeah. So it's not a stinky smell, which is good. What's up, bang your head? What's going on, Darren? Let's see, what's up, Joe? You got one of those uh, Red Cat Kaijus? That's killer, yeah. It is pretty killer. I'm, I'm excited for it, so it's really cool looking. Eh, yeah, I like it. You know the thing that, again, it's stu it's the stupid little things, but I do like, okay, any, these red, any of these uh, manufacturers, man, it'd be cool. They put that white, that white lettering on there. I love that white lettering. I have a friend, he just bought some D-boots or whatever too. And he put the white lettering on it. But I've seen other guys, like you're, maybe some of you guys as well, you know, you'll get the marker. I know the marker sometimes it doesn't last that long when you put it in the white marker on the side of it, but it just looks really good. I always like that with some of the cars, and I see them now. They'll put Falcon or whatever. They'll have that big lettering on the sidewalls of the cars. I just like the way it looks when it's going down the road. It looks really good. So you really won't see the red cat too much because it's on the inner, like you said, the inner lip of it. So... If it was on the outside a little bit. I did have some cars like that, and then the stickers kind of, they were just stickers, which was cheesy. Those don't look too bad. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Oh, red, yeah. The Pro NT, yeah, it's a 110 scale. So, yeah, this is definitely, this a 1.8 scale here. 
It's not a huge one eight scale by any means. This is small because this one, they're almost the same ballpark anyhow, as far as their sizes go. But, you know, like this is a pretty large scale, one eight scale, which is kind of like, well, we're kind of treading on, well, yeah, one eight scale. Then you, then you have some other stuff like, you know, one seven scale. Well, I'll show you one seventh, right? One seventh scale? Yeah. Then you get it like a one seven scale. Yeah, you're gonna be able to see that's just gonna tower over. It. But eh, that was probably a bad idea. Because this thing's huge. So let's put that right there. Yeah, this is a heavy beast. I'll have to move some stuff around if I need to show that one off. Let's see, the white lettering on the, the tires is pimp. Yeah, I definitely like that one, Jeff. See, what's going on? 10 scale garage? What's going on, man? Let's see. Mr. Chase, I can't see what it was happening because I have a bad Wi-Fi connection, but you were dropping the, the truck. It sounds like a bomb was going off. Yeah, so I was just I was doing a drop test just to see the suspension on this thing, and I figured, oh, I shouldn't do that too often because that mic's going to be it's pretty sensitive. Anyhow, that's why I kind of put it further away from me because if I got it too close, it'll start to distort and everything like that, so super sensitive, and yeah, because it's pounding on the table too. And when I was like, oh yeah, that's not a good idea. But um, the suspension is good on this thing. I like it. It's really soaking it up. Uh, let's see here. Swap the Dementor tires for the Kaiju. Oh yeah, right? Probably so because these things definitely will balloon. Uh, I didn't really, these didn't balloon too. They weren't, they weren't really bad when I was running on 6S, but I was running on the beach. It wasn't bad, but once I started to turn the wheels, it started to grab the body. Not on this guy, but on the, the Kronos. So they definitely, yeah, I even started wearing down the body a little bit. I do have a, a replacement wing for it too. So, because the other one broke. Well, I should say not the wing, but the structure for it. Uh, let's see, is it bigger than the uh, landslide? Um, I mean, I had the landslide for, for a very short time, like a year ago. And if, Feels like this is a, around the same size, if I'm not mistaken. It, it kind of has that same footprint. So I'd say they're pretty close to each other. But, you know, it's going to have more power to it. 6S and the 4S. Um, and these tires, I feel like these are better. Because the other ones, as far as for the landslide, they were basically the ground pounder tires, but they had a foam insert and they have the black rim. Well, I like the black rim that's on the land side, but I felt the tire compound was pretty similar to, if not the same tire compound as the ground pounder. And the ground pounder, all bouncy and pretty thin feeling. Like it doesn't, so, I mean, you guys can let me know. But I kind of felt like there was like a slight difference with the landslide tire compound, but it could have been just the end, the foam insert was throwing me off as far as made it feel like it was a little bit thicker, maybe. When I heard, oh, okay. Yes, <laughs> right. Oh, let's see here. What did I miss here? Jeff C., you got the slipper clutch, right? Oh, okay, let's. I missed something there. Maybe that's in, internal conversation. Let's see, I heard that when you do the white lettering on the, oh, yeah, on the tires over, oh, clear nail polish, it makes it last longer. Okay, well, that's good to know. So you do the white lettering, then you clear coat it basically with nail polish. I figured the nail polish would crack, you know? I guess if you do it, because since it dries, it's kind of art. Acrylic looking, acrylic. I don't know, is that nails? I don't know, that's nothing about. I did buy some nail polish just so I could, what did I put the nail polish? Oh, I use it kind of like as a glue a little bit. So I was like, oh, 50 cents? Okay, I'll, I'll get some of that. For the heck of it, if I'm in need, I use some nail polish instead. But yeah, I know that some people do say that they put the white lettering and it doesn't last too long. Even the paint on my shocks on the Kronos, they got sandblasted when I was out there at the beach. So literally sandblasted the black paint, spray paint or whatever they use to paint the springs that got blasted off of there. So I was like, well, okay, well, definitely got sandblasted. Nice rig. Oh, RC Rush. Appreciate that. Mr. Rush. <laughs> uh, let's see here. 10 scale garage, 17 millimeter hexes on it, right? Yes, they are 17 millimeter hexes. And it comes with a wrench as well. Some other little wrenches. So yeah, nice that it comes with 17 millimeter hexes. So yes, thank you for asking. Let's see here, Mr. Chase. It, uh, let's see. 
It has some pretty, uh, oh, some big, yeah, pretty decent sized tires that are on there. It's stock servo. Yeah, it's powerful enough. So the, the servo that's in here is a 25 kilogram. It's a 20 kilogram, 25 kilogram. This one, it, can, it says it goes from five volts to 7.2. I don't know where it sits, if it's sitting in between, like at six volts or what. So I need to go in and program that on the electronic speed controller. There's no like a jumper or something, so I have to go in there and actually program it. I do have like the little Wi-Fi uh, dongle, we'll say, so I can do it that way. Because I don't think this thing's Bluetooth or anything fancy. So, And I don't think I can adjust it just by one of those little um, cheap little circuit board, whatever, where you can adjust it on the fly. Not on the fly, but I'm kind of looking at it, trying to figure out what I'm thinking about because i got one over there. Anyway, so it's one of those little cards, programming cards. Uh, thank you. Programming cards. So... I said thank you to myself. That's weird. But um, yeah, that would be what I could use in there. But I don't think I can adjust the voltage, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to look. All right, and we're back. All right, I'm getting phone calls. And I can't turn this thing. Okay, let's see here. Do -do. All right, sorry about that, guys. Uh, let's see here. What were we doing? Uh, let's see. Bang your head. Oh, bang your head. I ordered a two speed. No, 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 no. That's pretty nice. I'm glad to hear this. Beetle Bailey. Joe, can you see? Oh, the, the front of the home. Kim, oh, let's see here. Beetle Bailey, could you? Oh, hold on. This thing's all getting funky on me. But you want to see the uh, the steering? The steering hubs? Let's go ahead and take this thing off of here. It's going on commercial. Ah, uh, the steering hubs. Let me bring that up to you here real quick. Dude, hello everybody. What's up, CNJ Hobbies? I'm just waiting. All right, making sure everything's good there. Let's, Jeff, can we, okay, so you wanna see the steering hub. I'm gonna bump into something here. I don't know how much you can see there. But here's the, kind of see that's, anyway, the steering that's on it anyhow, what you're looking for, possibly, but yeah. And as far as that servo that's sitting right in there with the switch on top of it, hopefully you can see that all right. I don't know how dark that is, to be honest with you. And then underneath there, so you do get the steering, the servo horn hanging out there at the bottom, which is kind of scary. It should have had, probably maybe should have had some kind of cover over that. So, I don't know. That's the only thing I just kind of saw. Hopefully that kind of helped a little bit. I'm not sure. Sorry. <laughs> I can't see what, you, what you're seeing, so it's kind of a bummer. Uh, let's see, Jeff, we can see a string. Oh, so yeah, 25 kilogram. Bang your head. Okay, so that's that. What's up, JC? Thanks. Looks beefy. Yeah. So it does look pretty good as far as that. I did see some other people, like, who was that? Uh, RC car and driver online or whatever his name is. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I did, that's the only guy I kind of saw with it first. I was like, oh, okay, finally somebody has it in their possession, which I kind of knew he would at least get it because uh, he does their voiceovers or whatever for their their videos. So, yeah, it looks pretty good there. I know that he did break something. We'll see as far as what other stuff that happens, but honestly, for me, uh, I'm not going to be completely brutal with this thing. I could be wrong about that. You know, who knows? Might get a... Might get a little crazy with it, I don't know. Let's see here, Robert. Red Cat says the spur and pinion is wider for the 6S. Maybe so. I know it's plastic um, spur gear that's in there, but I don't know as far as this gear ratio right now either. How fast do you think it will go on 6S C&J Hobbies? Um, I guess we're, we're gonna see. Which one do you think? Honestly, as far as putting these things two together, 2,500 kV motor that's in here, what is this one, like a 2050, somewhere right around there. I know this thing, this one, as far as the Kronos moved pretty good. So I'm trying to get an idea as far as to, depending on how this thing's geared up. I wouldn't think they'd gear it up too high just so they can, you know, off-road it and everything. And I saw it on 4S, you know, as far as, I was like, that thing, you know, it moves pretty good, but it was all in, you know, loose gravel or whatever, so it really couldn't see how fast it really went but that car and driver guy uh greg or whatnot you know he was able to do almost like three fl 
flips on 4S, and that's where I think he clipped the wheel, and it smacked it, and then it cracked it. I'm like, well, if you were jumping pretty, if to, to achieve three flips or whatever, too, and if he shot out far, uh, either he was going really fast and he was able to flip it, or he was going up, he was up pretty high, and then it smacked it and it cracked it. And I think it was like 18 degrees when he was running his vehicle. So uh, going back to the speed on it, honestly, because I can only, I feel like this one would be faster. That's my, so I'm going to do a speed run with both these. I'll put the same tires on both. You know, it's going to change the gear ratio on this guy a little bit, but nonetheless, uh, it did like, this one did 60 miles, did like 60 something miles an hour with, yeah, like 61 miles an hour with a little bit smaller tires on it. So I was like, okay, 60 miles an hour with those. So we'll see how fast this one goes. It's got a short chassis on it. I know it's got a lot of power in it. So we'll have to see about this one too. We'll have to see. So it'd be pretty. I have to. Uh, yeah. I, I kind of think like this would be cool if this thing hauled butt. I just kind of feel like they went a little bit. They might be a little soft on the gear ratio. So we'll have to see. These guys want just like, hey, we want this thing to be fast. So we'll have to. What, what do you guys think? So I'm going to say the uh, Team Corral is going to be faster and uh, this will be a little bit slower. I figure this thing will probably do like 50 something. I could be wrong about it all. Who knows? Maybe it goes faster. What do you guys think? Yeah, the weird looking hubs on it. <laughs> yeah. Let me see here. Yeah. I mean, it's not like they're aluminum or anything like that as far as some of that goes, but... I still like it. I think it still looks good. I mean, there has to be some compromise to some of it too. You know, oh, for the extra money, you know, you can see a little bit more on this one too. But, it's, you know, teach their own. I don't know. I mean, this kind of reminds me of the X-Max a little bit as far as the way the chassis is set up on this part, just how it's raised up on the sides. So we'll see. But I like it. I think it's cool. And I just don't know how fast that thing's going to go, to be honest with you. It's better than the Max? I don't know. I never ran this thing. I, don't, I never owned the... So any kind of comparisons like that, I don't know how fast it is over one. Or when it comes to, you know, like things I don't have. When it comes, like, let's say the Traxxas Max. I never owned the Max. So I couldn't even tell you, like, oh, that one, you know, this is going to be faster. It's going to be slower or whatever. It depends on how they have everything kind of geared. Like, what's that final gear? How everything's kind of set up to really know. I just feel like this one would be a little bit slower just because I already, that experience that I had with the Kronos, like that thing was moving pretty good. So it's got a nice system that's in it. But I would say like this has got a nice setup as well. So yeah, it's probably, I think that's a Hobbywing motor that's in there. Yeah, it's a Hobbywing motor that's in it, I'm sure. Let's see, 10 scale garage, 39 miles an hour on dirt, 47 miles on asphalt. Just a guess. Okay, I was like, man, you're accurate if that's right. <laughs> so 47 miles an hour. 47, I'd be kind of bummed if it went 47. It'd make it faster, but um, if this is more of a basher, so really for bashing, you don't need to be like blazing fast, right? <laughs> I'm sure that'd be like, no, no, we want to make it go fast. So it's hard to say. Chase, it's cheaper than the max. Yeah, so the max is what? It's like $160 more, something like around there. Isn't it like 560 bucks? And this thing's, call it 400 bucks, really, just one penny off. Is it faster than the EPX Volcano? I'm sure it will. Brandon, it'll, yeah. It will crush, I'm sure it will crush. I'm sure it'll beat the uh, Volcano. Where is the Volcano Pro? The Volcano Pro. I mean, I had, I've seen the Volcano Pro in action. I was like, yeah, it's pretty, not real fast. I feel like this thing should, a lot more power in it. But again, like I said, the, the gear ratio too, but I would say out of the box, this thing will be faster than the Volcano uh, EPX Pro. I put my money on that one. <laughs> so, is the body like uh, Lexan? Oh, regular Lexan. So, um, yeah, it's not that PVC crap, you know, so it's definitely a Lexan. So, what would that be compared like? Yeah, like I have it with like PVC would be, no, it's this dude right here. This is like it's thick PVC and it once it breaks easier, so yeah, definitely. Uh, this feels like that, like oh okay, I just bought the body and 
you know, gonna spray paint it or whatever like that. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let me show you from the front here too. I like the way this thing, this is the front end of this thing too. Looks good. It's got a bumper on it at least. Thank God, this thing didn't have a bumper. It's like, hey, just smash, smash the bumper. Like, come on. Like, Team Crowley, we need a bashing bumper on there, you know? Give it the program. Let's see, can't wait to see a video of it, Joe. Yeah, man, Beetle Bailey. Yeah, I can't wait to run this thing as well. Probably, we'll have to see what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, but maybe I'll let this thing rip tomorrow. But I won't, I don't know if I have a video tomorrow on it because I've got other stuff to do in the morning before I can actually go and run this thing. So, yeah. So, uh, and I was actually just talking to one of my other uh, friends and he was like, hey man, we're going to go, you know, run some RC cars. And I told him like, hey, I haven't even ran the Team Corrali one as far as the Dementor. So let alone like running anything else. This is because I already kind of knew with the Kronos and I was like, I'm just going to save that one for right now. This is kind of a good time. It's like, okay, we can battle them up a little bit. Even though the price point, man, they're close. So you can kind of get an idea. It's success, success. It's in the ballpark, about the same size. They're what they're for. You know, this is going to be, it's got the wheelie bars on. So it's more of a trickster, I'm sure, as well. Just like this guy here, with that shorter wheelbase. And with the shorter wheelbase too, it does want to wheelie a lot. So getting on the, Getting that speed, that's going to be tricky because depending on where it is, that I'll have to probably set the punch low on this one and definitely that one because this one didn't want to wheelie too much when I was trying to do, when I was doing speed runs, it, it just planted on the ground. It's pretty good. RC Monster Truck Garage and Red Jet both uh, have videos. Oh, that's cool. Robert. <laughs> Let's see, Jeff C. Oh, okay, I have one as well. So accidentally bought a Red Cat Earthquake <laughs> 3.5 on eBay last night. Oops. That's a, oh man. Why'd you do that, man? Jeff C, why'd you do that? <laughs> Let's, see. Let's see here. Oh, what's, what's up, Tyson? Bash them all. Let's see, that thing looks awesome, bro. Oh, I appreciate that. So I'm digging it. Not true. Let's see, Robert, not true hexes. Are you talking about uh, Traxxas? I know that their hexes are a little bit funky. Kyodra means, oh, gigantic monster. Yeah. That's good to know. I thought it meant something else, to be honest with you. Um, but I don't know. It's hard to say if it's a gigantic monster. I would say probably like fit scale. Let's go ahead and start calling them monsters. That, but, you know, they all want to kind of... Red Cat has an interesting way of picking names. It's like some of the, like the Ducano or whatever. I know it's like, what is that, a volcano or something like that too. So, obviously, Earth names. You know, I don't know as far as on that one, but I don't know. I like kind of like that, like the Dementor. I kind of like that as well, like some kind of other stuff. Like, I know you couldn't say like the Punisher because it's probably copyrighted as far as from like what Marvel or DC or whatever it is. But nonetheless, I kind of like, want some other kind of aggressive names. Giant. Because when, when I saw the name, I was like, oh, what is this kaiju? We're Americans, man. We're kaiju, what the heck? <laughs> anyway, I don't know. It's just kind of interesting. But giant monster, I mean, that's kind of cool anyway. Uh, let's see, Jeff C., I'm a little disappointed. The fuel tank doesn't seal. Oh, okay, okay. So you're talking about what you got. Uh, when it works, though, it's instant. Oh, okay. I was wondering, I just bought a Let's see. I don't know. Are you talking, Jeff C., are you talking to me right now? Because I saw you had some other conversations going on. I was just oh, browsing man, this morning and text on the phone. From, oh, okay, yeah. So I owe 180. Well, you can cancel it too. You can always cancel the order, Jeff C. You don't have to buy it. Commit to it. it. says it's an 8T. It ain't so. Oh, Jeff C. Oh, I don't know what that. You might be talking to someone else. Jeff, can I have to? What are you talking about? To me, internal conversation. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so back over to this guy here anyway. I do like it. Now, I already kind of showed the stickers and everything. I was kind of, I like the stickers that it comes with like um, Demon Driver, let's see, Tire Slayer, pretty cool. Get Sideways, okay, that's cool, Get Sideways. Mine goes to 11. That's cool. 
It's got some pig stuff. I kind of showed this. I think I already kind of showed them anyhow. You can kind of see them anyhow. But it's not going to show up probably very well on the video. I was trying to, sh and you're not going to really see it. You're like, hey, what are you showing that for? I can't see that. The print's pretty cool. Don't worry, it's zip tied. So you got some, like I like that one, like they did it on the Axe Edition too. So they have some stuff like uh, Area 51, just some kind of random stuff that's on there. So I like that, it's kind of unique. So this the kind of same old, like they just say Red Cat or whatever, like those boring things. I like little sayings too. So definitely like it. All right, let's put this thing sideways. And you get its hair net. You can put this little hair net on. I like that, but it's kind of hard to get back on there. It's got little tiny tabs around the inside of the chassis and you really have to get, it's a little finicky because there's a, there's a wire that runs. Well, I can kind of show you too. Yeah, why not? Let's go ahead. Why talk about it? Let me bring it over to you guys. So there's this, you know, this is the actual LED wire or for the rear lights. You guys can see that again. So the real rear tail lights on it, but the cable, and so these are little tabs for it, for that little hairnet. I know what it's, you know, as far as the mesh, um, a dust cover for it, but it's called a hairnet because it kind of looks like one smaller. But it just has these tiny little tabs that are on there, so it's kind of hard to get them to, to grab again, especially on this side too, where it's got that wire, so it even makes it less of a tab to kind of get some grabbing on it, whatever you want to call it, get some grabbing, that doesn't make any sense. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and throw that back over there. But it's got some weight, anyhow. It's got some nice, decent amount of weight on it. it doesn't feel, but it's not too bad. But it doesn't feel, it's not super light either. Is it lighter than this one here? No. That one feels a little bit heavier. Put some batteries in that sucker. Yeah. Ding, ding. And they have like bursts. Uh, let's see. Can it run 4S? RC Daniel. I don't think it's geared that high though. Oh, uh, let's see. Robert, agree. So it's a six set. Okay. Let me go back. Let's see. It's set. Okay. Let's see. All right. Okay. So Robert, 6S. If it's geared right with the uh, 4268, I bet it, it'll be over 50. I'd say it's over 50. Yeah, I'd say around 50 something. Somewhere right around there, probably so. I guess I would say that's, you're probably on point around there. I don't think it's geared that, oh. Robert, agree. Uh, let's see here, I don't think it's geared that high there. I think it's geared kind of low, it's conservative, so it doesn't overheat the motor. And because this is a basher too, that they're gonna do it where it's gonna be off-roading it and things like that. They don't wanna have it where it's extremely fast. And there's no extra gear. It's not like a speed gear that comes with this thing anyhow. So they didn't really aim it for speed, but they just aim it for the power just to have that punch. So I think that's more or less, you know, so we won't expect, I think this one will definitely be faster because this thing's more aimed towards not only being able to do standing backflips, what I've been seeing. Why well, I don't think this one will. I don't know, maybe so. I don't know if this one can do that. This feels like this feels like this is gonna have more power. So yeah, you guys can let me know in regards to it, but that's I feel like it's got quite a bit of juice in in that Dementor. I, oh, let's see. Let's see. I bought the uh, oh the 4076 2000 kV compared to the Shredder motor. I laughed. <laughs> the the 4067 is a monster, and the 4268 is is bigger. Okay. Yeah, your Team Crowley on your left kind of looks like an Arma Limitless. Oh. The car, oh. You're talking, I mean the Limitless, that's a whole different looking beast. You mean as far as like if it looked like a, what's the other one? The Outcast or whatever they call it? Like this would be like more of the Outcast, what's the other one? Um, Notorious. Yeah, the Notorious. I was, <laughs> whatever. They call it like two different. They had two, two different names for it, right? Uh, let's see here. The wheels on, on... Oh, let's see. The wheel hex on the Kaiju. So there's 17 millimeter wheel hexes that are on, on the Kaiju. Same as, as for the uh, Dementor. So yeah, that's... It's 
crank one of those suckers off there. Let's take a look. Let's <clears throat> flip this thing around here in a second. Is it serrated? It is serrated. That's nice. You know, I don't, like, uh, as far as on the Dementor, or some other vehicles that I have, too, not serrated. Uh, some of the Habao stuff, not serrated. So I like seeing the serrated, so that way it bites into the plastic. All right, shut your mouth. Let's see what this thing looks like. So now you can, let me, I guess, let me go ahead and bring it up to you guys, too. You can kind of take a better look at it. So uh, someone did say, like, it's not a true 17-millimeter uh, hex, so I would say you're right. So let's just take, but if we look here, too, I don't know if you guys can see that okay. But on here, as far as the tire, again, sorry if that lighting's not the best or so. Hopefully you guys can see that a little bit too. But 17 millimeter on the tire. It smells all right. So yeah. Now be it. Hopefully you guys got a good look at that one. Yeah, it looked like it was okay. I got just the very end of that clip. If I could see it. But I do like that it is serrated. Again. But uh, eh, the tires, so these tires too, they're just, they can go either way. They're not, um, what do you call it? They're, what do they call it? I don't even know what they're called. They can go either way as far as, so these aren't directional tires, what I was kind of wanting to say. So they have arrows going either way. So, and they do have it on here like 3.15s by uh, 5.990. There you go. So 3.15 by 5.90. Yeah, I just want to sit there and sniff them. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'm getting dated a little bit. Maybe it's maybe there is a little bit of chemical to it. Okay, we're done. Yeah, I meant the Outcast. Sorry. Yeah, I figured that Chase when you said about it, I was like uh, the Limitless. That's like all sleek and everything like that. I don't I don't have any of them, but I know what you're talking about. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna leave this. Should I leave this wheel off of there? I do like it, even as far as the way they have it uh, anodized, the black. You know, I'm a fan of the black stuff, anyhow, so. Does that sound, that sound right? <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, I mean, if you compare, like, if I started, like, kind of battling these two, like, first, who's going to be the winner? I'd say, you know, Red Cat takes the win when it comes to the radio, just because of the fact that I just... Feels a little bit better in the hand than this one. Like this feels a little bit like a, if you were gonna go by a little bit better quality than this one. And plus, I like you know as far as being able to do all the adjustments. You can do the adjustments on here as well, but you gotta like toggle everything like up and down, up and down. Here I can just kind of turn the knob or whatever. I can just do it pretty quick. So I do like that part of it. And I, I've never really had any, I've never had any bad experiences with this radio anyhow. But I never had, as of yet, any bad experiences with the first radio that I have. And I got a lot, I've had a lot of Red Cat radios, and they've always been good, other than the eight double A's that they used to have at a, for a while. So, yeah, and I mean, this thing has, you can turn down the dual rate, so when you're doing like speed runs and stuff like that, too, that way the tires don't turn as far. And obviously, I'll probably need to do some adjustments anyhow. But even like the 25 kilogram servo, I'll have to see how that works, because I know. Uh, Red Cat, we have them and stuff like that. They usually do like a combo, two of them, of uh, the two, two, a two pack of 25 kilogram servos. I'm not exactly sure how much they are. I probably got. Red Cat has, is, is all over the uh, Dementor and looks. The Dementor just looks a little bit ugly. Yeah, the Dementor, I definitely, oh, let's see, who said that? Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, Dusty Storms, what's going on, man? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have to agree. All right. I mean, when I saw this one and even like the Outcast, I'm really not a fan of this style. So, you know, I kind of barf on both of them as well. Uh, when it comes to the Arma and this one here too, this might be uglier than the Arma one anyhow. I mean, maybe if I did it like if you just painted this thing flat black and you put some uh, this white decal that's on there, stuck that on there, but uh, because... I really like to have a different body on this thing, period, on it, and just make it, um, I don't even know what I'd put on this, to be honest with you. I can't put the, it's the way it's cut out here, too. 
And because, can you see it all? The wing sits pretty low on here, so getting another body on there is gonna be a challenge. You'd have to take the wing off of it. And then, and even the shock towers themselves do sit up higher. So I don't know, and these things aren't adjustable either. So you might be kind of like, you might be limited on what you can put on this thing. Other than you do, you do some modifications, just like this one's cut out anyhow. So yeah, I mean, as far as, okay, so if we were talking radios, Red Cat wins on the radio. As far as uh, definitely the bodies, I'd say the body looks better on here than as far as this one goes. I almost feel like I can't, like my eyes are not adjusting because this is kind of like blurry looking. I don't know if it's supposed to be rust, but it's like, like it, 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 are my eyes not, you know, focusing? But it just has like a blurry looking. It's supposed to be, I guess, rust, like I said. Um, but, you know, that's one thing. I mean, they'll probably switch it up potentially down the road. But for right now, straight out of the box, I would say, yeah, the body. I like that this one does have LEDs that are on it front and rear. This doesn't have any LEDs on it anyhow. Uh, the wheelie bar is adjustable, where this one is not adjustable. It's, you know, stationary, whatever, on it. Um, Power-wise, I'm going to have to probably say, I haven't run them, so I don't know, but I'd say, I guess this one's going to be, you know, faster for sure. Um, you know, all aluminum shocks and cap, you know, goes to this one here. But, you know, it's hard to say. You know, I think this one is definitely just... For speed wise, I'm gonna. I like this one. I can lower this thing down. This one's more. Definitely has a, you know, more of the. I feel like it's gonna have more, more clearance on it, as far as when it comes to the kaiju. Just overall, you know, it looks pretty good as far as clearance on the kaiju. I do like the tires. I will say the tires I like more than the Dementor. Um, just because I don't know, they just look. They just look better. They look like more of like what people would buy aftermarket like the proline stuff so for sure fly sky uh, let's see wins all the oh let's see let me go let me go back with later oh let's see here later chain oh so chase left okay chase is out of here tyson uh can you remove the wing on the oh okay what's up everyone oh what's up chris what's going on man sorry i just missed you there i was rambling on uh let's see here can you remove the wing and raise the body posts so it'll fit most bodies. Can you, um, I think, well, obviously we're talking about the wing on here. This one, you can't raise the wing up on it. It is where it is. Like, oh, well, yeah, you can, sorry. You can raise the wing up. Right now it is, where is it set to? It's set to the highest it'll go, right? It's set flat. I hate to say, yeah, that's set as high as the wing will go on it. I thought I had this one up higher. I kind of think, I felt like that. This one, it feels like it's, maybe it's, I think the wing mount's a little different on that one, is it not? Eh, maybe it's the same. God, man, I'm having a hard time trying to figure out if they're different or not. I don't know if the wing is a little bit different. It does sit a little bit. Now, this gotta be, that one's gotta be taller because the way it sits, unless these, yeah, these, this wing, or this uh, structure for this one seems like it sits a little bit lower. I gotta say that that's probably what it is. This thing sits a little bit lower. So you have to get maybe a different one because this sits below the actual shock tower. Maybe someone else would say, oh, no, 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 you can still, it needs to be adjusted. Oh, this one's set up as high as it'll go and it's flat. Or this one's set, looks to be as high as it, okay, don't get stuck on that. But yeah, that's that. <laughs> Agree, Joe. I personally love the rat rod. <laughs> yeah, Eddie, I mean, yeah, to each their own on that one. The thing was, when I got it, when I was, when this thing was going to be launched, I got early access to one of these. I didn't get this one, right? So, um, I got access, I, I wanted this, the Kronos was the first one I wanted. I was like, oh, let, hopefully they'll get me the Kronos first. This is, uh, you know, from our distributor. I was like, I want to get this one first, you know, before everybody else want to get some videos, whatever. And they said, oh, no, we got more of these Dementors, so we're going to send you one of those first. I'm like... Like, really, I got to spend my money on something I really don't want as much as the Kronos. And then find out, they're like, oh, you know, the Dementor is coming later. So we're going to send you the Kronos. So I was like, okay, good. Because that's kind of the one I wanted anyhow. Uh, and I like it. Uh, I like a little bit longer body or the chassis on it anyhow. Anything that gets bigger, you know, as far as when it comes to the longer chassis or just a bigger vehicle, I'm like, sign me up for it. Especially they're the same prices. So this one should be a little bit cheaper because it's a little bit smaller. <laughs> so... 
I think they should go like, oh, 500 or maybe a little bit, maybe like 519, you know, like whatever, just shave a little bit off. Don't make them the same exact price because, I mean, they do give you like, there's the wheelie bar that's on there. So they do have that, you know, there's maybe extra bits and pieces on this one to compensate for what, you know, that, that price different or the price being the same. So maybe this body costs a little bit more because it's got this plastic thing on there or whatever. But I have to keep looking at that one. It does kind of freak my eyes out a little bit. All right, so hello from Indonesia. Oh, what's going on, 54 Channel 1? What's going on, man? Thanks, Joe. Robert, I know sometimes I get, I kind of get lost in what I'm talking to. It's like, oh, okay, go back. I got to go back over here before I lose the chat. Uh, let's see. Did you run the Kaiju yet? No. This is fresh out the box, guys. So this one, I haven't ran it. This one's a little stale, but I haven't ran it still. <laughs> so yeah, this thing's fresh out of the box. I just took it out within, how long we've been running? How long I've been running my mouth? An hour? So maybe an hour and 15 minutes. I just take, I took this thing out, maybe an hour and a half. I just took this thing out right around that time period because I had to ship some stuff out. Uh, I had other orders of these. So definitely, if any of you guys ordered one, definitely appreciate the support. And uh, yeah, you guys should have gotten tracking information. I know some of you guys already chimed in and said, yeah, yeah, I got tracking information, so cool. So I definitely appreciate that one. Oh, let's see, what's up, Jeff? Yep, let's see, oh, Robert, a 410 millimeter, okay, wheelbase, length 528 millimeter from the website. Oh, okay, okay, so just give me some specs on that one, Robert. Okay, pull it down, Chris, pull it down. Uh, maybe I missed that one. What are you talking about, Chris? Oh, the side by side? You want to see the side by side? You want to see him like. The Give me a second. I'm going to let you uh, chime in on that one real quick. Different strokes for different folks. Yep, exactly, Eddie. Yeah, the Kronos, uh, Chris needs a wheelie bar on it. Absolutely right. I do love the tires on. I, okay, again, since I haven't driven it, but just visually looking at them, I like these tires over these tires now performance wise i've i've had these in the dirt and stuff like that these things grip pretty dang good so uh as far as once they're performing as far as visually it's one thing performing is another and and i've riv driven the <laughs> wow riven i've driven these off-road in the sand in the grass uh on my chronos and let me tell you they, they do a great job and from what i can tell they work well so they're doing their job on that one now do they balloon on 6S? Yeah, they're, gonna, they're definitely going to balloon a little bit for sure. Um, you know, are these going to balloon? They're definitely going to balloon as well. How much? That's where I think Red Cat didn't do their video and also RC Driver, whatever, RC, RC Driver Online, whatever, RC Driver. I, I, he ran his on 4S. So did someone tell him not to run it on 6S? I don't know. Maybe that's, he just wanted to show everybody first how it ran on 4S and then he was gonna transition over to 6S and then he broke something by, cause he was doing like, trying to do like a triple flip and that's when he broke something. So, and I know where he drives at. Well, I don't know personally where he drives at, but I mean, as far as where he was at to run his truck, really wasn't gonna be anything to show us how fast the car goes out of the box. First thing I wanna do, how fast does it go? That's what I want to know, because everybody else is going to ask me the same thing, like performance-wise. Oh, you know, it does it jump? Of course it jumps. You can send you can send some slow little cars. It jumps, but um, we want to know how fast it goes. We got all this power. It's got six S. So what does it give us? So, but I think this one's not going to be as fast, like I was saying before, as this one. It's more of like it's a performer, not only for I feel like I'm going to be more of the basher, but also when it comes to just speed. So this one probably need to keep an eye on temperatures. This one, not, maybe not as much, possibly, just because it's probably geared down a little bit. This one's got metal gears in it, so the spur gear and pinion gear, obviously those, those are gonna be steel, where this one's plastic spur gear and a steel, metal, whatever, as far as their pinion gear on it. The drive system seems pretty good on it, too. So, um, as far as what I saw, Red Cat, their breakdown. Let's see, oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's see. What's up, Moss? What really? Let's see here. What he really wants to know is what is the standing? Oh, what? Oh, what, what will it do? Will it do a standing backflip? So I think this one will do a standing back backflip, right? I think 
If I'm not mistaken, this one will do it. This one here, I'm not sure. Again, it's deceiving. Like it looks like one of those, like, oh, it's not gonna go very fast. Maybe this thing's got a pack and some punch in it. So it's just hard, you know, it's got a 6S system, but it feels like it's deceiving me as far as when it comes to what it can capable of doing. So, I mean, like again, the running videos I saw, I was like, that thing runs pretty good. But again, I think it was only on 4S. So I think they just kind of slowed it down. Like, you don't really, we don't really need, we're going off-road and really off-road too. You know, 4S isn't bad. I like 6S better as far as that one goes. But I think that you can, it's a little bit, a lot of power. But I gotta say, I mean, I had an X Max and it was 8S or whatever. I'm like, give me it all, man, whatever you got. So I can't say like, oh, 4S is gonna be perfectly fine. You don't need to run it on 6S or whatever. But you're wrong, asking the wrong person. Because <laughs> I'll just say, man, what is it capable of doing? You know, the only thing you gotta wanna keep an eye on is those temperatures too. Let's see, <laughs> Chris, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how well those things are going to pizza cut or whatever, too. What up, OMG? Oh, what's up? Oh, yeah, what's up, Moss? Do you believe it's a true... Oh, okay, so, Moss, yeah, do, you, do I believe... What's going on? Do I believe it's a real true uh, eighth scale? Yeah, I'd say it's an eighth scale, for sure. Um, but, <laughs> let's do the... <clears throat> See, that's the thing. I can show you a few different examples. Okay, so this is a tenth scale... Right? But the wheelbase on this 10th scale is bigger than, is longer than this 8th scale. This is a long chassis that's on here, and this is a 10th scale. And it's light, too. I mean, it's not like this guy's like, eh, you know, it's got some weight to it. This guy's like, it's two wheel drive, too. But, and then again, you know, like 10th scale. Oh, this is 10th scale. I mean, can you see that? Oh, it's got a cramp. <laughs> like, like ten, I know that's probably not comparison. It, it, let's see, the camera's kind of like this too. So maybe you can kind of see it. But anyway, get the idea. Like, this is a big dude anyhow. So I know there's like people who are saying like, uh, hopefully it'll stay up there. <laughs> what do we got? 10 scale. Oh, 8 scale. Man, you know, it's going to put its stuff. Okay, uh, do I have anything else? I know it's kind of a good idea and you got a monster truck the ground pounder she kind of busted up but get an idea see it's like hard to say the, the monster truck is is a 110 scale it's got some linkages that are broke on it i guess you could be kind of you could be a little bit right like oh it's, it's kind of a it's a small eighth scale this is an eighth scale too and i mean as far as when it comes to the wheelbase on it, they're pretty close. I mean, as far as, I mean, I'm just gonna kind of eye it up here. Yeah, wait, hold on. So, I'd say the wheelbase, this one's a little bit, sh just a little bit shorter, maybe half inch or a quarter of an inch, what have you, I don't know as far as the millimeters, sorry. <laughs> so, but uh, these two, are, these are pretty small little guys as far as when it comes to an eight scale. So, yeah, it just varies so much. So, I, those scales are skewed sometimes. Depends on what the what they all want you to do. But I, if, I guess if there's a, like the uh, Traxxas, the Max or whatever, and it's a 10 scale, it's probably the same size, right? It's kind of like, they could almost cate categorize this thing as an, a 10 scale right in that same area. Uh, let's see. My Stampede's a 4x4 is standing backflips on 3S. Yeah, well, your Stampede's lighter too. I know the Stampede's lighter. This is heavier than the Stampede, for sure. The Stampede, is fairly, I mean, it's not really light. It's still a pretty heavy chassis, I guess, on there. But, I mean, I had the Stampede 4x4. No, no, I didn't, sorry. The Stampede, yeah, that one, 4x4, I never owned that one. I'm thinking of the, um, the Rustler 4x4, sorry. That's what I was thinking about. So I know, like, the Stampede one, I had one of them, and it was pretty short little dude, pretty... Uh, so it's kind of stubby from what I can remember on my little stampede. But it was a two-wheel drive, so there's a little bit of difference on that too. But if you can do standing backflips, that's cool. Honestly, I don't really care. I mean, if it can do backflips, that's cool. But I, I don't, I'm not really as far as the wheelie stuff. I like to be planted down and just go. I'm more of kind of the drag racer. Like I just want stuff to be planted. I want to feel like I'm comfortable with, oh, give it throttle. It, it doesn't do wheelies. And then like calm down, get back down. 
But, I mean, you have that much power, you got a wheelie bar on the back of it, you got to expect to have, it's going to do wheelies. I mean, even this one being a little bit longer as far as the chronos goes, still does wheelies. So you got to be careful and just kind of ease into the throttle. But yeah. Dude, is the Everest 10... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Everest 10 has the... The, uh, the rustler body on it. Let me see here. The Kaiju is more monster truck look, basher, small body, big wheels. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a little bit... To me... It is kind of like it, yeah. It's hard to say with monster truck, because really these aren't... I don't know what someone else had said it before uh, with their monster truck, but... Yeah. I, I like the way this thing looks. Like, it looks... It looks proportional I guess you could say it's a little bit out there but it's got the big wheels obviously because it's the monster truck kind of deal once you get a 110 scale over 65 it's a bit uh, crazy yeah probably like after 50 miles now it's probably a little bit crazy too uh, Chris yeah most definitely so definitely it would agree on yeah 65 miles an hour and if this thing was doing 65 miles an hour yeah I'd be at 60, kind of like, yeah, we're done here. This thing sits up pretty high, too. So, I, you know, that wind wants to get underneath there. Um, this one, just it just feels like it's a little, you know, it's definitely a little bit sleeker on that part of it. And it's got that flat chassis on there. So, I feel like this one would be more stable for the speed, which I've already run that one. So, I feel like that, that one's planted on the ground. I feel comfortable driving that one at, you know, 70 miles an hour, which it's gone 72. Um, Let's see, the Kaiju is more... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Chris, monster trucks. Chris, yeah. But I love I love the trucks anyhow. I mean, mass majority... I, mean, I have trucks. They're just universal. Yeah, you can get it. You know, you can jump them. You can run through the grass. You can run them on the road. You know, whatever you want to do as far as tire combinations. It's just... It's like the Swiss army knife, you know, of some of it. You just have more options when it comes to a truck. The higher clearance on stuff, yeah, it's not going to be your super speed run type car, but still goes pretty quick. So that's kind of like I like trucks for that. Like it's just cool. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> ten scale garage for sure. Yep, the Everest ten with the rest of the body on it. Yep, I know I said that already too. Uh, message automatically. Hell with it. Okay, so a ten scale garage. I don't know why that's there. I don't see why. I'm just trying to. I don't know. It hid the. Hid his message. Oh, eh. hide his channel. Eh. All right. Let me. I'm just checking something here as far as. Nothing bad. Getting cold in Miami, Florida. <laughs> oh, is it RC Daniel? I know here. I think it's like in the. I don't know. I had the windows down in the car and everything like that. So it's not. To me, it's not cool. I mean, it's cool, but and it's been windy a little bit too, probably like 15, maybe at one point in time, 20 mile an hour winds, and then it kind of died right back down. So, but I like, I love cool weather, man. I don't like it cold. Like, I think I'm good with 50 and above. Anything below that, it's like, eh, I don't really care for that too much. So, um, I don't need to be frozen, but I do like it. I do like that. I feel like re-energized with the cooler weather. Hey man, I really want to see the Red Cat body since I just joined in the RC driver, kind of, kind of a skip part. Oh, what's up, Bill? So you just joined the Red Cat body. Oh, but did you? Okay. Hey man, I really want to see the Red Cat body. Okay, well I can show that to you. Let's go ahead and talk about this one right here. I'll go ahead and do it up. Where we got it? 20, 28 people, 29 people, something like that. So yeah, let's go ahead. And Show you guys. You guys just don't be shy. If you say, hey, I want to see it again, I'll be more than happy to show you guys again. I do like it. It's got a, you know what? It's not just a flat blue. It's got a metallic in it, which is nice. So it's like a painted body. You know, it's not one of those like printed bot. I'm sure it's somehow whatever they do with it. But it feels like one of those like someone actually painted it. <laughs> so yeah, I like it. And it looks good. Maybe on camera it's not as good. I'm sure in the sun it's even better. But it has a little bit of, like it changes colors just a slight little bit because of that metallic that's in there. So I like it. And the wheels on it, yeah, man. Definitely the wheels. Look at, whoops, don't drop it on the ground. There's the underside of it. So you guys can see it. Hopefully you see it pretty good. 
I just like that front end too. It just looks pretty aggressive. It's got the little shock guards on there. It's got those little guys, little LEDs. So front and rear LEDs on it. The bumper seems pretty good. Uh, it's got a little bit of clearance so it doesn't completely destroy your body when you get it, you know, hits, you know, when it takes a little bit of impact as well. So that's nice because some of the um, bumpers, they're like right there up on the body. So then when you hit something, it's like, oh, the, you're supposed to, the bumper's there to protect. <laughs> and it doesn't do its job when it's right up on the body. Like I have, well, even like my Habao, even like I have a Red Cat, the Shredder, like that bumper is like right there on the body. So it's like smash, hits, you know, it hits it. So I like there to be a little bit, like it could come out a little bit further, I'd be happy with as well. Pull off the body and give us, oh, angles inside too. Okay, let me go ahead. Sorry, see, I kind of can't see everything. Let me go ahead and show you inside of it. it did have the hair net. I know it's not a hair net, it's the dust cover. So that's in there as well. So just kind of mind you of that. Let me show you that again. So you guys can see that. I'm trying to get it where the light is, but I don't know. You guys can see it in there. You get real close, right? I see. Kind of see it. I'll just do a spin on it as well. There you guys can check it all out. Plastic shock caps, which is kind of like that's the only part I was like, oh man. So it's kind of a bummer. But aluminum shocks, just that whole sh shock cap thing. 25 kilogram servo, what 2100 kV motor that's in it. Let's see if anybody else is asking anything there. But that's what I want to kind of, sh yeah, so don't be shy. You know, maybe a little bit later I'll show you some more. No more sneak peeks. No, I'm just kidding. So, yeah. But, yeah, let me know as far as that one goes. I mean, that's what the live's for. You guys ask questions, and I'll show you guys that too. Underneath, it seems durable. So, yeah, seems like it'll be, I mean, from what I can tell, as far as the chassis goes, looks pretty good. You know, everybody's going to drive them a little bit different. Everybody's going to land, you know, it's going to smack on something. So potential could break stuff, but I mean that's just kind of like it's part of the hobby, right? You're if you're bashing, you're breaking potentially. You know, maybe you have some days where you're like, oh, I didn't break anything. I mean, you maybe dented up the body a little bit more. You're obviously going to punish the vehicle. You're not always going to land perfect. So, but yeah, three ninety nine. Well, wow, it's nice. I'm digging it. Man, how much was it again? So yeah, Chris, this like what a. Uh, 10 scale garage said, yeah, $399.99. So we got them. So if you're looking for one at our website, omgrc.com. That's what I was telling you, uh, some of you guys earlier too. That, uh, yeah, we already, we just shipped out a bunch of them as well. So just in case some of you guys are joining in later and like, oh, I was wanting to ask about if my order got shipped out or whatever. So anybody that ordered anything as of today or pre-ordered any of the Red Cat stuff, all the Kaijus have been shipped out. So definitely nice. Oh, Chris, yeah, you're thinking if maybe it, if it's worth it. I think I think for the price, man, okay, 6S system, I mean, so 6S system. How many 6S systems do you get for that price point? Let's just say that, first of all, with an RC car. I'm waiting for you guys to answer. <laughs> so, no. But, I mean, 6S system, 150 amp ESC, 25 kilogram servo. Just kind of do those little specs on there as well. I mean, it's not expensive servo. We're not talking anything major brands or anything like it's not like a reef you know servo or um what am i thinking as far as what's another one i like a save ox or whatever those different ones as well so it's not a real expensive servo that's in it but nonetheless it says 25 kilograms so I figured so this doesn't i gotta tell you okay these servos like there's resistance like okay it's like that's got some fight to it you know, this has got a fight too. Let me show you something here. I don't, I forget what kilogram servo that's in here, but watch that. <laughs> Holy crap. Like, wow. I don't have to even hardly touch it. You know, it just moves. I'm like, but when I drive it, it's like game on. This thing wakes up and it's, and it works pretty well. But just like touching it, it's like, you know, that's crazy. Squish them in. 
All right, just stay there. Hopefully, you stay there. So, like on this one here, yeah, I can't just like push it, you know, like. But on that, on that habao, I'm like, oh my god, how simple that steering moves on. It's like, what the heck? Um, let's see here. So yeah, I'm thinking if it's okay. So let's see here. RC Daniel, um, is the light lights bright so I can see? Uh, I don't have any. Let's see here. Hold on a second. I will. I need. I got. I think I got some batteries sitting around here. Did I have some batteries? I think I brought some batteries in. We can at least, uh, you know, put it on three S and kind of look at it. I thought I brought some batteries. Of course, you guys don't know that, but I, th I thought I had some batteries. I brought. Oh, I got it in my pocket. Yeah. All right, let me get let me get a, a battery. Looking, looking. Well, we'll roll with this one. So, um, this is on storage charge, so there's not going to be a lot of juice in there. But always have four double A's in my pocket. That'd be weird. <laughs> but I was bringing them out, so I was like, all right. So we got some batteries. I can always take them off another radio. Put those in there. I know some probably like, why do you carry around four double A's? No, it's because I had them in another radio. And it's gonna sell an RC car, so. All right, power's up. Okay, here's the new thing. Okay, mass improvement. I just noticed this because I wasn't blinded by the light on the radio. So, I got one here. I know this might not be a big deal, and I know you're probably like, just get to the truck. We wanna see the truck and the lights on. But hold on, you see how, like that's bright. Like those are bright in your face. You might not think about that like right the second, but when you're trying to tune something, look at the difference on that. It's got that little cover on there, so it's not like in your face. So I know it's a small little tiny things. You might not notice, but that's definitely an, a nice touch. Red cat, because that was super annoying. I'm like, I can't even see it because of, I'm being blinded by those stupid LEDs, how bright they are. All right, to the truck. There you go. Let's see, let's fire this sucker up. Got an adapter. Alright, gotta turn the radio on first. Alright, so that's on. I'm not gonna strap this thing down, I don't think so. Alright, and then yeah, servo's not too bad. Not bad. Okay, 3S power. Let's see. Ooh, it might need to be adjusted as far as that. Okay, so there's your LED lights too. There's the rear ones. I just got blinded by the front ones. You're welcome. You can see that. <laughs> All right, let's see how this thing on 4 or on 3S. You can kind of see those tires balloon or, or whatnot. That gear is loud, especially when you get off the throttle. But the tires didn't balloon that much, so that's pretty good. Let's see what the, how it looks with the body on there. Someone might be like, I want to see it with the body. when we get the full experience, right? Let's see how that looks. I know it's kind of blinding on the camera too, but they are bright. I mean, on the angle, maybe you can not see. That dang delay, man. It's hard to, to know. But yeah, it looks good to the rear. Looks good as well. So I like it. Man, the suckers are pretty bright, man. You can see it across the room. Like they, they shine pretty well. So not bad on the LED brightness, that's for sure. Let's go ahead, disconnect them. So it's got some power for the 3S too. It moves pretty good. I was like, oh man, don't, I don't want to have an accent. Like, oh, it got me in the arm or something like that. So I was like, oh crap, man. Don't give it too much where it goes falling off the table or yeah, or it gets me in the arm. So that would suck. So there you go. I hate. Oh, let's see here. Let me look me here. Stays up. Okay, let's see. How fast? Oh, let's see here. Let me, let me, <laughs> So I, I like to think that it might be my second red cat. <laughs> Let 
Let me go up the chat. Sorry, because I, you know, obviously I was trying to do all that for you. So let's see. Um, I'm not sure how you say that exactly. Part Paris, Paris, Paris. Maybe it's Paris or so. Anyway, um, how much? It's I think someone already said it, but it, uh, this car, this truck here is three ninety nine ninety nine. That's USD, just in case you guys are out outside the country or something like that. But yeah, like four hundred bucks for it without a battery or charger. Are oh let's see, are those in your pocket or are yeah, yeah. I knew see Jeff see I knew someone's gonna say something. I was like, why would you be carrying around you know four AA batteries? But uh, yeah, again. I had to check him out another radio. So yeah, I'm happy to see you, man, but not that type of happy. <laughs> That's funny. Keeping it live. Let's see here. Let's see how fast. So I don't. Yeah, as far as I'm not sure how fast this thing goes because it's just fresh out the box within the last, we'll say, two hours now. So somewhere right around in there. Oh, it stays open. Stays open. Oh, let's see. Thinking of getting. All right. Be you. Also, it stays, I'm not sure if you, you also to stay open, I'm not sure what that is. Um, not sure yet, probably close, yeah, I would say, you know, on 6S power or something like, I would say something around there. I mean, it wasn't like super like, oh man, this thing's ripping, you know, like really fast on 3S, but it's a 6S system, so it's really not up to its speed, you know, until you give it full power there too. I mean, some of them are, and again, it's gearing and everything else like that, too. I'm not making excuses. I'm just saying that's, you know, as far as its power goes. And I don't know if I want to put it on 6S and then try to hold. I can't hold it and then let it rip on 6S. Yeah, I can't hold it. So that, I'm not willing to uh, rip my skin for for that one. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, let's see. Them lights on them radios, not bright. <laughs> Do not. Oh yeah, uh, RC Daniel, yeah. But I do like this radio, so now, fan favorite. Uh, as far as the new Red Cat radio, I like it. Because it's not, those LEDs aren't so bright in my face. Because yeah, when I'm trying to adjust stuff, like, oh my god, it's just, that little green light, even that red light, it's just, it's kind of, it's blinding. But yeah, I could always put like a, something over top of them too. But just straight out of the box, I don't have to worry about it. I can see what I'm doing. So... I hate that you can't keep the cover open. Oh, oh, that I can't keep the cover open? You hate that? Like, you want to see it? I just like putting, <laughs> like, RC Daniel. I hate that you, you want to see it without it on? Is that what you're saying? Like, oh, I just want to be able to see it? Like, you just want to see it like that? I just like it with the, the body on there. But, I don't know how much you can see it right there, too. Can I prop it? With the battery, that's not a good idea. All right, I don't want to put it on the chassis. Uh, let's, let me go through this chat. Whoa, God, I missed a bunch. Sorry. All right. So uh, RC Daniel, let me go. I'm just going to say active. It doesn't have um, active VAC. You know, the VAC doesn't have stability on it. So it, you got to drive it. You know, no computer stuff as far as to help you go straight. So no stability control on it. Which I'm okay with, too, because most of these trucks, um, when they're going fast enough anyhow, I mean, to have that. Uh, certain cars, you feel like, yeah, this thing needs, you know, s some stability management to it. But uh, I think I'm, I didn't have any, I didn't need any stability on, like, as far as these. Just got to drive your RC car, man. <laughs> this one does have, it has that uh, ABC or whatever they call it as far as, uh, you know, basically just has a, a gyro in it. Try to keep it tracking straight. That one does. My rage has it in there, so you know it makes you feel like you're a better driver than what you are. So, and sometimes I don't even notice them on there. Like, but I can feel it sometimes when I want to push the car a certain way, and it's like it's not. It's fighting me. So, I have uh, absolutely been blinded by the yeah, the oh those controllers running on. Oh yeah yeah. See what I'm saying as far as that one, Bill. Yeah, the lights on the thing. I've been blinded by <laughs> the controller. Exactly. So this controller is definitely better. Uh, yeah, for sure. Those lights are crap. I mean, as far as they're just bright. Uh, let's see at the skate park in the morning across the... Oh, yeah. Oh, Phil Stadium. Oh, that's right. Try not to... Oh, you try not to get robbed from the... 
I run into the homeless people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I'd imagine, yeah, you, some shady spots, I'm sure. It shouldn't come with a C. Oh, yeah, CSV stock. That would be. Oh, it, sh it should have come with it, Chris? As far as the, that act, you know, yeah, SVC or whatever you want to. All those different uh, stability managements, more or less. Again, I don't really care if it has it or not. What uh, is the... I, was it on the Arma Creighton? Does the Arma Creighton have it in there? I don't know. I know like my the X-Max had it. And you could definitely tell on that one. It was some If you had it turned up, it's kind of... It was a little bit too much. So, I was like, you got to turn that sucker back down. I want to. I kind of want to drive it, you know, so... It's to each their own as far as that one goes, too. It does kind of help you out sometimes, too, just to, if you are jumping and it's trying to uh, compensate, but, you know, I try to, comp I don't know. It's, it's, it's good and bad, I guess I could say, as far as some of the active. I do like it. I'll go with that. I said, Daniel, oh, the Fly Sky receiver with the gyro. And then, okay. But you can uh, get a standalone gyro. Yeah, so you can get it. I mean, any of that stuff too. Any like, oh, I really want that. You know, you can place a gyro in there if you're happy. If that's what you need to uh, drive your RC car. I really see like the gyro is more for speed cars to keep things tracking straight as best as possible. I can't drive my RC good. I need the the ABC. Okay, <laughs> like my low C. Oh, okay, the three. Okay, gotcha. Three XL E. That's cool, man. RC Daniel. You know. Some vehicles feel like they do need them, so teach their own. Oh, uh, let's see. No, okay, so no, okay, no ABC on the. I didn't think it did when I was driving. It just it that truck runs pretty dang good. Like most of them, like oh that's yeah. Some of those vehicles, you're like, why well, need it? Uh, I don't know how much the X Max needed. I did turn mine down most of the time. Um, and you could see it when you're in the air too. You're like, I didn't do that. Like it's you pick it up and it's all trying to compensate <laughs> so if you have the uh, Traxxas Max do you oh, do a comparison look the same oh so as far as that I don't have uh, I don't know I'm trying to think how you piercing 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 yeah something like that piercing uh, I would say I, I don't have an X Max. I don't have. I'm sorry. I don't have the, the Traxxas Max. So I don't have that one to do any kind of comparison with it. So my only comparison is basically this Dementor, and that's pretty much it. Like I don't have anything else. And this is out of its. Well, if you had the X Max, or sorry, if you want to say the, the Max, if you had the Max, you know, it's well beyond the price of this thing too. You know, we're talking what 160 bucks more. So it's kind of. In some way, like it's in its own, well, I don't know, as far as all the other prices out there with 6S vehicles and stuff like that, I think some of what is the Arma stuff, some of those are like their 4S vehicles, but that's a 4S, um, you know, and this is 6S here. So I don't know. I don't know what else is in that, almost that same exact price range that's 6S power. You guys can leave, let me know in regards to that one. Like, is there anything 6S, 8 scale, whatever, for this price point? I guess 10 scale, 8 scale, same price, same kind of power that's in it. I don't know. Armor and remote, yeah. <laughs> Chris, yeah, you're right. Armor remotes suck so bad that now that I have, I have two, oh, you have two new, two new radio, or a new radio. Yeah, I didn't like the armor ra radios. They suck big time. I mean, and granted, this one's not much better, but I didn't have the range issue like I had with the armor one. Again, I've seen enough people talking about the armor remote that I was like, yeah, these things, and this has a little uh, rubber grip that's on there. Yeah, it's got that little insert for that little hand grip. It's not bad, right? So this, I'll give this company as far as the Team Corral, even though this is not like, it, whatever, they subbed this out. So this one here. So this remote, uh, I would say it's better than the, the Spectrum one that comes with the armor one. Not by much, but I had at least the better experiences with it than I did with that one. So again, it's experiences. Uh, this one here, I haven't had, no, I haven't driven, I've had pretty good experiences with the Red Cat stuff. I never had, I never had any kind of issues with the Red Cat stuff. I've had issues with the Traxxas, as far as their range on their, what is it, TQ, their top qualifier one. Those are pretty sucky remotes. 
they, they don't have very good range. I've had enough, I've had enough of the Traxxas radios to say, well, those don't have very good range as far as their TQs. The TQI is, is good. I haven't had any problems with that one. But the TQs, I've had, I've had two vehicles out of the, maybe like six of the Traxxas cars I've had, maybe, maybe six cars, somewhere right around there. And out of those, I've had two crappy radios possibly, or they just have sucky range on them. <laughs> Nothing in the price range. Okay, Chris. Yeah. So, I mean, it's kind of like in its own. So, it's like you can kind of pick at it or whatever like that, but if there's nothing really in that range, it's kind of hard. Now, I know like you could say, well, Banggood's got mm -hmm -hmm, four, and it's about the same size, and it's success as well. Because what's the other one? Uh, what am I thinking of? I'm thinking of a vehicle that has kind of the same kind of wheelie bar to it. Uh, help me out with that one. Anyway, it's got a sleek body. kind of looks like the um, E-Revo, that sleek body to it. Maybe someone can leave. I'll have to look for the chat <laughs> as far as that one goes, but maybe some of you guys might know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyhow, or not. I can't remember what the heck the name of it is either, but I've been eyeballing it for a while now too. Nah, I can't remember. Let's see, 10 scale, 4S, same price. Yeah, 10, uh, 10 scale, but yeah, 10 scale. What's cheap, fast, reliable RC car? Yeah. So yeah. Oh, Jado. No, I was not thinking like a Jado. I mean, that's going to, I was think, but it's not a Traxxas line. It's like, oh, it's like the Cheetah, the JLB, JLB Cheetah, right? I think that's what I'm thinking of. Like it has, isn't it, is it, it's a 10 scale. It's a 10 scale. Again, but then it's, is it 6S on that one? Anyway, I was trying to think of something like that because that's like kind of in the same ballpark. Yeah, it's a 10 scale, but it's kind of probably about the same size as this dude anyway. But yeah, I would say as far as, yeah, yeah, cheap, fast, reliable, RC. So, I mean, when you start getting, when you start breaking down prices and stuff like that, you're going to start losing, you know, some of those reliability, like those better beefy parts or whatever. You know what? But still, it, you can spend a lot of money on some of the Arma stuff and you bend stuff, you break stuff. So it's none of it. It's all breaks, right? So it's just some of it, like the materials that they use in the vehicle, some of them are like right out of the box like that and it's going to snap. You know, and some of them are just junk straight out of the box. Like you can jump them like, I'm not gonna like, let's say for instance, I've seen, heard enough in regards to the RZX, like the Rage, that I know, and I can feel the plastics on it too, like they're not gonna take a lot. They're gonna snap, keep it on the ground, keep that sucking around it, and it's a load of fun, just two wheel drive, and just ripping around on, on just the pavement, I'm happy with it. So I know it's limitations, and I'm not gonna push it. Even It's got a nice heavy chassis that's on it, and it's heavy too, so it's fairly low to the ground, and it's not one I'd say, oh, let's go ahead and jump that. It's like, why? Don't want to. So that's why you get these that are up higher. And again, you're going to break stuff if you start bashing, and it just kind of sucks to... You know what? Really? I like those little Tamiya kits. You know, these things are like right around, you know, they're like under 150 bucks or whatever. They're pretty inexpensive little cheap little RC cars. Those are ones I like to just, oh, let's shoot them up the ramp, and if they break... You can replace some of the parts on them. They're pretty inexpensive. It's just these guys here, when you start getting more expensive, these aren't the kind of guys I want to show shooting way up in the air. It's like money, 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 money. <laughs> Smash on the ground. But teach their own. And uh, that's why the hobby, you know, that's why everybody, you know, can enjoy the RC how they want to. So it just is <laughs> just one of those things. The FDR, oh, skate park. Oh, Philadelphia. Look it up. Guys, amazing. Oh, okay, amazing. Oh, that's cool. Happened to be home for quite a while. Oh, let's see. I missed some of that. So, yeah, some of the skate parks, some of those guys do some pretty awesome stuff. I, I kind of want to I want to go to the skate park, too. Just called me Oli. Okay, Oli. So, that's wor that'll work. I guess, yeah, you, don't worry. Okay, so I was trying to figure out as far as how you say it exactly. Uh, let's see. Oh, the gyro definitely helps when you jump, though. Yeah, imagine so when you're coming down, those wheels are trying to adjust or whatever too. And that helps you as, imagine like even when you're in the air and you're soaring, it's trying to adjust and that probably helps. You know, it's going to control the vehicle a little bit too. I just like, if I'm jumping stuff too, I have that, that shredder does pretty decent. It won't do flips on 4S, but okay, yeah, cool. I'd say I only broke my Arma Granite. Yeah, see, a 4x4. Only because it was cold outside. Yeah, I mean, like the Arma Granite. That's a good little truck, right? That's a pretty stout little truck. Like, that's a good one. I feel like that's that's a nice that's a nice uh, price point that you can bash it. 
And it's, not, it's not real expensive. So you can kind of beat on it. And those plastics seem to be pretty well, I mean, for the, some of the armless stuff anyhow. But again, some of you got these bigger vehicles, you're shooting them up in the air, you know, it's a lot more weight coming down too. So, perfect Kodak. <laughs> Uh, let's see, don't bash in the cold. Uh, yeah, your RCs will break faster for sure, RC Daniel. Yeah, I mean, I don't really have to worry about the cold here. I mean, what, we get, like, we rarely get in the 30s. I mean, it's super rare, and then, of course, you have to bring in plants or cover them up or whatever like that. So we don't, we don't, we don't get that type of weather. So, I mean, I can pretty much, we can, in Florida, we can bash all year round unless it's, unless it's, I mean, 30 degrees, I don't, it's, not, it's going to affect the plastics a little bit, for sure, but it's not going to be that bad. Uh, I think it's when you're in those teens and stuff like that, too. But it affects me if I'm outside and running an RC car at, at those temperatures, even though I haven't done it because we don't get those temperatures. I haven't been outside of the state to, well, let's see, where was I? I was in Georgia. It wasn't that cold. I had my, I had my X-Max at the time. That thing was fun, too. The X-Max, you know, I kind of do miss it sometimes, too. It's the big dude, and it... I like the way it jumps and does wheelies, and it was cool. I liked it. I had the 6S version of it, and yeah, I kind of do miss it sometimes. It's it's cool, nice truck. I do like the way the body sits in there, so I'm going to give it X-Max that. I do like that part of it. If you're going to bash in the, oh, in the cold, soak your, oh, soak your plastics in WD-40. Yeah, I've heard that would soften them up a little bit too, the WD-40, for sure. Yeah, absolutely, good idea, good tip. I agree with the granite. It's the best. Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm not, I never owned one, but I could just see the way it looks good <laughs> as far as that. I would like to have one of those. So I went, sorry, I'm wiping off the dirt that's on the table. If it's making too much noise. Uh, but yeah, it looks good as far as that one good. The granite. I like the way it looks. It looks like a good truck. How about MT? Okay, is a king. Oh, let's see. The how about, <laughs> yeah, the MT plus two is, a, is the king. The new king. That is. Oh, Bill. You know what? I can't really say nothing about that. Now, I will say the tires, I blew one up. If you didn't see that video, so that this so this is it. This big old dude here. Kaboom. Uh don't tell me I put the tire oh my god, I put the tire back on in the front. I didn't mean to do that. Anyway, I'll move it around. But this tire here, it was doing pizza cutter mode, and it just blew the tire right off of it. But uh, this body on here, it is the thickest RC body I've owned to date that's Lexan. I mean, I have the PVC one. That's not going to hold up for squat. It just rolled over on the, uh, it's over there. That thing, this thing's pretty durable. I've jumped this. I've done some pretty nasty crashes on it. Nothing. It's just like, eh, whatever. It's a good truck, man. It's very durable from my experience. Okay, I haven't jumped it a lot, but I've jumped it and I crashed it quite a bit. So it is a good truck. I'll give, I'll give Habao that one for sure. That's definitely, I, I would say yes. It's a good truck <laughs> as far as that one goes. It's expensive. I think it's like 600 and something, 670, something like that around there. But but it's, it is good. I never ordered from Banggood because it never turns up so annoying <laughs> as far as that one, yeah. Yeah, uh, well, I don't know what's going on with Banggood as of right now. I think with that whole coronavirus, I think they're kind of, I don't, I haven't talked to my rep. The rep I had, they're gone. Uh, she went somewhere else and I haven't gotten another rep. I'm hoping like another week or so. But I haven't really, you know what, I'm really happy with my RC cars that I get, but I would like to have some other ones just to kind of like put on the channel and run them around and, uh, you know, showcase it for you guys as well. Those, I feel like I can like bash those around a little bit more because I got it for free, you know, but I, then I, these here, I'm like, you know what, I bought this thing still and it's, it hurts to bash these things and like, oh man, I mean, it, there's a guy that I follow on Instagram, it's called Bash Not Baby. But I do restrain myself from, I don't want to destroy my cars completely either. But I did kind of take a lot out on my Kronos. And, uh, and I destroyed the wing on it, whatever. But it's a cheap little fix to it. So I'd say, yeah, I was kind of rough with that one. Yeah, but 
not as rough as some of you guys out there. You're like, oh, you, you thought your video was rough on your cars? Like, no, I don't think so. So, um, you know, like when some of these guys shoot him way up in the air, I'm not trying to compete with those guys or whatever, Kevin, where he shoots his up like 100 feet up in the air or whatever. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get WD-40 on your bearings, guys. What? That sounds... Why would... Oh, uh, what's up with the WD-40 on your bearings? I've never, I haven't... I haven't used WD-40 on my bearings at all. I use some, I have like a CRC oil or whatever that I use, but I haven't used WD-40 as of yet on any of my RC cars. But uh, not to say, I'm just kind of curious why you would say, I mean, on the bearings, they're gonna get, it's so thin, you really kind of want to put like a little bit thicker oil on there. But I've seen some people, yeah, I don't really like that kind of oil on the bearings. It's like really thin and then it gets all crunchy sounding. I don't know. But I do like bearings that are that have a rubber seal on because I can take them apart and clean them all up. Because the ones that just had the metal, I think these are rubber sealed. Yeah, these are rubber sealed bearings if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, right. They look like it. They look like those. Were, I think if I'm not mistaken, those were rubber sealed. I like the rubber sealed ones. Like I said, you can tear them apart a little bit, clean them up. Uh, well, let's see here. Here. What are the tire? Oh, let's see. That is a tire bill. Oh, unless. Okay. Oh, the cheetah. Okay, so Bill. Yep, cheetah. Oh, yep. Fresh Squeeze RC. That beer flu. <laughs> yeah, that Corona. Oh, yeah, right? That beer flu. Ha Sorry, excuse me. Has stuff all screwed up. Exactly, that beer, that whole Corona. Corona flu. <laughs> that beer flu. Yeah, definitely uh, screwing stuff up for sure. I didn't know anything about this, so. I was like, oh man, this is from China. Right, it'll be all right. Um, but yeah, that beer flu definitely has got stuff messed up. <laughs> That's funny. A beer flu. <laughs> That's uh, so true. Sorry, got it. That's that's so bad on the WD-40 eats grease. Oh, yeah, I imagine it does. It breaks it all down, sure. I definitely, I mean, most of those little thinner oils too will break up your grease, anything that's thinner. Imagine so. Does it come with the uh, uh, to the battery? Oh, does it come? Does it come with battery jumpers? Yeah, yeah, it's got battery. Okay, so yeah, here you go. Answer your question there. Who asked you that? Who asked me that? Is that Bill? Anyway, so it's got a battery jumper. It's got that little loop that's in there, so you can run it on just a single 3s, you know, 4s, 6s. You're good to go. And if you have two single packs, you want to run on, you know, two 2Ss or three 3Ss. I'm sorry. You can run on two 3Ss, not three 3Ss, uh, two 3Ss. You got me. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, uh, let's see here. Oh, let's see. The Maximus is, is light and just, oh. Yeah, I mean, as far as, it looks like an, an eight scale max. Oh, what's up, David? I'll say, what a fresh squeeze, fresh squeeze RC. I use WD-40 all the time, like any of the bearings from time to time, to, <laughs> from, from time to time. They need to be pulled, cleaned, serviced, exactly. Any lubrication you use on the bearings will attack the dirt. Oh, the dust and the dirt, and yeah, the dirt and the dust. Yeah, I mean, I know, like when I was, when I was seeing that too, as far as like the WD-40, I haven't used, well, I know it's a thin oil anyhow, right? So, but I'll just spray stuff down. I did have WD-40 back in the day. I think that's what I would spray. I'd wash my vehicle, like the X-Max, wash it off, and then spray it down with WD-40. Yeah, because I did do that. I didn't have any problem. But thing was, if you wash your car off with the water and stuff like that too, it gets into areas where you, you can't get it dry. So then the water sits in there, messes up your bearings so what I try to do is either just blow it off with like an air compressor uh, you know sometimes I'll run it under certain areas that I know like if I do anything with the differentials like I'm not touching the differentials usually I'll just kind of um, hit it with an air hose or something just try to clear it out a little bit and and not to soak the car because I don't really don't want the electronics getting wet even though they they say they're dust proof or whatever waterproof whatnot I just try to keep off the electronics for the most part on it. And then the screws, because all the screws, they're, they're going to start to uh, rust or whatever. It sucks. So, um, yeah. But yeah, I've used, yeah, used WD-40, but I use whatever oils. They're just it's super thin on it. 
But that's that's cheap, so I'm not gonna use I'm not gonna tear it all down every time I run the card. Yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. You can clean the bearings with WD forty and alcohol. Oh yeah, 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 you could. Then you use silicone oh silicone in the bearing. Yeah, silicone oil or yeah, that kind of stuff. Wait, Robert. Oh, Robert's leaving here. I gotta go. All right. I appreciate it, Robert. Appreciate you stopping in. Appreciate the support. Have a good weekend, man. Let's see. In the summer, oh, in the summer heat, the skate park. park oh, the skate park. I've launched the granite <laughs> like 40 to 50 feet up in the air. <laughs> Landed on the concrete, yeah, 30 or 40 times with no breakage. That's good. That's a pretty light vehicle, I imagine, too. It's, see, that's why it's kind of like the weight ratio. Like, God, this thing, like, it feels pretty heavy, right? Like, this one doesn't, just doesn't feel that as heavy. So, yeah, to each their own. I wouldn't mind like bashing, but you like out at the sand or something like that too. It gives a little bit of give or, you know, on the grass. Skate park's kind of like me. <laughs> like, I don't know. But I want to go to the skate park again. I'll probably, but I'm going to run something that's cheap, man. I'm not going to, not going to thrash, bash my, my more expensive vehicles. Floor bashing seems awesome. The humidity too. Yeah. Bill, that humidity is awesome, dude. <laughs> Great for this, you know, get that sweat going. Get all those impurities out of your system, right? <laughs> I don't like the humidity at all. Especially come August, June, August, and all that. Well, July. But August is like really, uh, it's nasty. Sand bashing is the best. Yeah, man, sand bashing. I mean, I've seen enough of your videos, um, Brandon, too. But, yeah, I mean, we. that's what I was telling my friend Tyson. I was like, man, you know, I should have brought some, damn it. I brought ramps, but I didn't take them out to the beach. So we, we went to the um, to the beach. It was one of my other, like a couple weeks ago, video. So we took the ramps, did some jumps out on the grass, and then we just ran like the Kronos, Kronos on the beach and everything like that because I blew a tire on my habao. So yeah, that one, and I didn't bring that, because it was a little bit of a walk out to the beach, I was like, I got I'm trying to carry, well, I didn't have to really carry too much. It's just that I didn't bring, I had to lug those, the ramps. But it would have been kind of cool to jump it there. But where I was at, it was really more shelly than it was sand. So, yeah. Bill, you have lost your, Bill, have you lost your mind? Let's see, what would Bill, what did Bill say? For, yeah, Bill's lost his mind. Sorry, Bill, but eh, you got to check yourself, man. That humidity is not good. But I think he's being sarcastic. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Florida bashing seems awesome. <laughs> Let's see. I like to have a little bit better scenery than in Florida. Scenery just other than, yeah. Oh, let's see. And those uh, bearings are so loud. <laughs> the bearings, oh, the bearings were loud too. I bet at the park, yeah. I mean, it's just super thin oil anyhow, but once you get sand in those bearings too, like, oh crunchy and everything that's like biting on sand yeah let's see let's uh heat the plastic up soak it in wd-40 for a few yeah <laughs> for a few days every night near a space heater <laughs> so that way you can catch on fire or something like that we don't have space heaters here in florida RC do let's see omgrc you got uh oh yeah we got harbor freight Air compressor for your RCs. Yeah, we got it. I got I got a compressor here too. Oh, you got a pancake one. Those are good. What they're like? I don't know what they are as far as how many gallons or whatever. But yeah, I mean that's what I'll do. Hit it. I usually even leave, use a leaf blower, electric one. It's like two hundred and thirty miles an hour, whatever they call it. They say. I'll just go in there because it's a little bit of warm air too that comes out uh, once the motor heats up. It kind of throws a little bit of hot air at it. And it works pretty well, so I'll usually use that too. So I use the air compressor, but it just takes a long time for it to like build up the pressure. It's a pretty big, I don't know if how many how many gallons it is. It's probably like a 25 gallon or something like that. I don't know, it's, but it's a pretty large one that we get, I have. Uh, but yeah, that's what I will use sometimes to get into those little small little crevices with the air compressor. But yeah, I usually just go ahead and just hit it with the leaf blower, electric one, so that's, that'll work. Yeah, Harbor Freight. I have to sometimes Harbor Freight. I'm like, I don't know. I've bought enough. I bought some stuff from Harbor Freight. Now, if it's like a one-time use or whatever, maybe some stuff I'll buy. Um, 
Yeah, but yeah, I've had some weird experiences with. Well, they got it's cheap stuff anyway. Some of the stuff's pretty decent, especially if you just need a, a tool like where we before go to like get it from. I'm trying to think what it is. Craftsman. Like I got Craftsman stuff too, but uh, if you're in a pinch and like, ah, oh, I don't want to spend much on it, you know, go buy it at Harbor Freight. Hopefully, it works out for you. Yeah, <laughs> Harbor Freight sucks, man. Tools suck. But the lifetimes, <laughs> yeah, lifetime. So got to keep up, keep going back. I didn't know they had a lifetime on them. I guess if it's like their wrenches and open end wrenches and some of the I guess crescent wrenches, all those sockets, is that what they have a lifetime on? Interesting. If they do, I know like what is it? Uh, Lowe's, right? Was it Lowe's? Lowe's carried used to carry cobalt, but they have Craftsman stuff. At least I think, if I'm not mistaken, is it here? Was it Craftsman? Or was it Home Depot? I don't remember. One of those, one of those stores. Oh yeah, but I need a temp. I need a temp gun for twenty bucks right now. Uh, I need a heat gun. When you said about the temp gun, I was like, oh, I need a heat gun. Mine seized up. So I, okay, so I got a, a heat gun. I went to a garage sale. I go to them all the time. But I went to a garage sale and the dude had one of the Harbor Freight heat guns. And I was like, he only wanted like two bucks for it. I know they're like ten or fifteen bucks, or whatever. I was like, I'll pay two bucks because these things are a piece of crap in the first place. And you know, turn it on. You know, it worked. I got, I probably got a decent amount of use out of it. And then it's like, I started hearing, it, and I was like, oh crap, that thing's gonna burn up. And I, oh yeah, that thing's toasted. So it didn't last very long. I mean, I probably didn't even have it a year. <laughs> I would use it to shrink wrap, you know, my connections after soldering and stuff to heat shrink. But instead of using like a lighter or whatever, so I just gotta get a better one. Cause the other one, uh, the the heat gun on it, you, there's no cool down mode. So it's like, it just sits there baking itself. It's like, that's stupid. Like, it doesn't have a cool down like, like like a blow dryer has where you can put it on cold and it cools the system down before you put it away. Anyway, that's that. Let's see, we are talking... <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see everything. Let's see. Let's see. My mom almost knocked me, her, knocked me around head. her electric leaf blower. <laughs> oh. So, Arce Dan, you're talking about your mom almost knocked you down with the electric leaf blower? Oh, wow, is that strong or something? Like, <laughs> on my RC car, it didn't feel like messing with the leaf. No, well, this one's electric. So this one, yeah, it's just electric uh, leaf blower. So it's not like you're ripping the gas one and, you know, as far as that one goes, you don't want to get blown away. But, um, but yeah, the gas one, some of those are pretty strong as well. Everything. Uh, let's see. Good plastics though. I guess that's what you're saying, plastics. Oh yeah, talking plastics. I think it's what you're... Craftsman's got, got bought out by, oh, Black & Decker recently. Oh, okay, good to know, Tyson. I didn't know that one. I mean, it seems like Craftsman, whatever, it's like, this is changing hands and it's not Sears anymore, then it's you know, Sears, Roebuck, whatever, Sears. And then it was, uh, so I wasn't sure, because I started seeing like the Sears stuff or Craftsman stuff either Home Depot or Lowe's, one of the two. And I, I think it was Lowe's because the Lowe's used to carry like cobalt. If I'm not mistaken, they had, like they had blue tools or whatever. And I think I started seeing like uh, Craftsman stuff. That's where I'm pretty sure that's where I saw it at. So I don't know. It works great for 20 bucks and you can return anything. Oh, you can return anything there if you have a receipt for it. Oh, that's good. Just gotta make a copy of the receipt or just kinda goes away after a little bit whatever thermal uh, thermal paper it's good stuff <laughs> it's good it's good it's good I don't know I just why I was thinking that so yeah um, not bad at all hey we're, we're doing pretty well here 25 people rocking in here I was kind of looking at this this remote again anyhow but I do like it I don't know. I really don't have any complaints over this one, other than the grip, I guess. But I usually will put like my GoPro mount like right on the antenna right here, or I've done it right around here too. You guys can let me know as far as I mean. If you do any kind of filming and stuff like that too, you know, you got a YouTube channel, you know, like what are you gonna use for your rigs? Because what I usually do, I know some of you guys might have like a dedicated radio, and then you have whatever receivers for all your vehicles or something like that too. I kind of like to know like. Is there a radio that's out there where it's more universal where you can like, oh, you got this receiver, can you program it with another radio? 
because I've not had any success with that. Usually it's like if you have that radio, you need to have their receiver and so it'll work in it. That's been my experience with it. You guys can let me know. I haven't had anything where I could kind of bind it with another, a different brand. Maybe some, but I don't usually have a spec on it. Uh, let's see, right, can you tell me, my mom is not, let's see, not illegal, wait, what? All right, let's see, to have a Traxxas X-Max, I'll keep telling her, oh, wait, <laughs> so what is this thing? Right, can you tell my mom, my mom, <laughs> it's not illegal to have a Traxxas X-Max? I keep telling her, <laughs> she's just, oh, let's see, she just wants a pro. She wants a prototype. Oh, as far as... Well, I don't know how old you are, too. X-Max is... I think it was uh, Kevin. There was a there was somebody that was underage or something like that, too. I don't know how old you are or anything like that. But um, he's like, oh, can you convince my mom that I can get an X-Max for like that? It's okay. Because, I mean, those things move. They're very heavy, too. So, I mean, it, there should be a little bit of experience when it comes to... You know, if you've already had a few RC cars and stuff like that, too. Because um, it is more power it is heavier so you gotta be careful of that so you don't hurt yourself or anybody else around you or damage something so yeah they got power i mean these little guys here i mean this is you know when they're traveling you know 50 60 miles an hour i mean that can do some damage uh there's some of you guys probably in there that you've hit yourself with them you know it doesn't feel good or you've broken something or whatever like that um so yeah they can i mean they're moving good so but I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know how old you are, whatever, I mean, but if your mom was going to buy you one, that's pretty cool, but um, I would start with something smaller, even though you're probably like, dang, why'd you say that? <laughs> less expensive, less, I mean, not as heavy, but I guess it just depends. But I, I mean, honestly, like here where I started with, you know, you start with the small stuff, you work your way up, you start understanding the actual dynamics of, you know, putting, working on these vehicles, so you're not like, what do I do? How do I work on this thing? There's so many YouTube videos anyhow, too. I will say the X-Max is pretty easy to work on since I've had one of them. Um, but, you know, getting into all of them kind of as you kind of work your way up, kind of like levels, you know, not to start here, kind of work your way up. But, you know, everybody has different areas. Let's see. I do not own a channel of the... Oh, but the... Let's see. I've had a lot of RCs before. Oh, okay, right on. So there you go, man. If you've had a lot of RC cars, it's all good. <laughs> Mom, get him one, you know. Um, give me one too. I'd like to have another one. Um, your mum is say it. Only, only in the heat through the landings. Oh, Bill, what are you talking about? Oh, see, Bill, Bill, I just cut the plastics on the on my two wheel drive stampede to upgrade the servo. My your Amazon servo, twenty kilogram. Oh, right on digital servo that didn't fit perfect. Mm. Sometimes that happens too. Uh, oh, you're 13? Right on. That's cool. I figured you were a younger guy, younger kid, or a kid, whatever, however you want to say it. A young adult. Not a young adult. You're still a kid. <laughs> 13. Just a teenager. The good times. I mean, yeah, man, 13 years old. Have an X-Max or something. That's pretty boss. That'd be good. Let's see. At 13, what did I have? I mean, well, I had probably something like this. So I was kind of racing. But at 13, I think I was right at that phase of, like, I want a car. So I started transitioning from RC stuff to like, let's look at cars because cars, RC stuff was kind of taking up my resources of money. I needed, we need to shift gears for mom and stuff like that too. I mean, I had to pay for my own car, the first one, but nonetheless, mom did help me one way or another to get a car, my first car. So at 13, maybe you're not thinking about it just yet, but man, getting close to that driving, which probably your mom, see mom, maybe it's a good idea to get that because, you know, keep them. I'm driving right now <laughs> but yeah I don't know oh yeah she said yes thanks <laughs> that's right oh make sure the fuel cap sealed <laughs> what was that on 10 scale the old tips on the earthquake oh yeah man fuel for those nitro ones let's see a running video oh yeah what's up Ken yeah we'll get a running video of it here soon for sure yeah appreciate you guys joining in uh, let's see okay thanks let's see Jeff C uh, let's see I have Great wrenching videos. Oh, okay, right, Chris, you got. To, I'll make a video on for anyone to, to ask. Oh, that ask. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, if you have one of those vehicles, you're like, hey, yeah, I can. I'll make a video. But I mean, there's a lot of videos out there. But nonetheless, you get a newer one up to date. And uh, what's up, Mets RC? What's going on, man? 
Let's see, thanks for giving us all the, the great information on your channel. Yeah. Let's see, main RC trailblazer. What's going on, man? I try. And, uh, you know, if, if there's something I say wrong, yeah, hey, correct me if I'm wrong on something. I'm always learning as well. The kaiju is worth it. Oh, is it worth it? Is the kaiju worth it? I haven't run it yet, Tim. So I can't really tell you, like, oh, it's, you know, it's, honestly, you know, I'm not going to put it through, like, really hard paces with it, but I'm going to run it. I'm going to see how fast it goes. I was saying before, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some belt to tires. I just, like I said, want to see how fast it goes. And then we'll do some jumping with it, too. I did kind of, it does have good suspension. I did drop it, like, way up here. You know, it didn't, well, it will bottom out, but it didn't bottom out from a, you know, relatively high. I did see uh, some other people, they were jumping it, and you could see it bottom out a little bit, but, which is okay. That's not a problem. That's what you kind of want to, you know, happen, but not real quick. Uh, I do want it to jump a little bit and not have to bottom out every time it hits the ground. So I think the suspension's pretty good on it. Anyhow, I do like it. Tires seem to be decent. Uh, they're a little bit soft, but on that part of it, you know, I did run this thing on 3S just a little bit. It did kind of balloon just a little bit. Not much at all, but you can see a little distortion, a little bit of a curve on the wheel. But I mean, it's already got a little bit of a curve to the on the tire. It's not flat. I don't think I have too many of those tires that are flat. Anyhow, but I like it. Um, I don't know if it's worth it yet. Uh, I had quite a few people order these on the uh, omgrc.com website. And, you know, more people out there, they'll have it and give different experiences with it. Mine being one of them. And then uh, once I get this thing running, but to each their own, you can see like, oh, how I drive it, maybe, you know, and then you can see other people, how they jump it. But I'm not big into the jumping too much. I mean, I have some little ramps that I'll jump some stuff, but I don't send it, you know, way up in the air either. I think you're just asking for trouble, but something like that. Let's see here. Oh, why did that, Chris, I love the chat. I'm trying to. Oh, let's see here, Chris. You like the chat part of it too? Um, let's see. Thank you for giving it. Okay, yeah, you're welcome, man. Uh, let's see. I have my. Oh, let's see here, Chris. I have my son that's 18 months. Loves RC cars. Almost understands how to drive them. That's awesome. I've seen some. Like uh, there was a race that's the Snowbird Nationals. They're in Orlando in that area there. So they're on. I'm in Florida. Just in case you guys didn't know. And then Orlando's on the um, East Coast of Florida. But anyway, Snowbird Nationals, there was a little kid. He had to be three. I think he was like three years old. And he was running with the other guys. They had one of those Legends cars. Uh, I forget who is that. J, J, J Speed or whatever it's called. JS Speed or something like that. I forget what it's called. I forget. But anyway, you, you know what I'm talking about if, if you know anything about in the hobby. But anyway, he was running. And I was like, dang, man, three years old. He's got all that coordination down already. So I was like, man, he's a contender. And his dad was, <clears throat> was running too. He was one of the finalists or something like I forget, but, um, yeah, but he's, I mean, at 18 months, Hey man, they got the, what do you call it? What am I thinking as far as anyway, you know what I'm talking about? That's pretty awesome. Anyway, the kind uh, let's see here. Yo, Mets RC. Let's see. You need more range on the Traxxas rally. Any suggestions? You need more. Oh, that Traxxas, <clears throat> excuse me. Traxxas rally car. You have the TQ radio, right? Cause the TQ radio sucks. So the only thing I would do, I mean, if, you, if you're looking for more range on it, I'd really just get a different radio, to be honest with you. Radio and, and, and the receiver. I had, that was just talking about that earlier. I'm like, the Traxxas TQ radios, they don't have very good range. In my experience, I've had a few of the TQs. I've had the TQI. Um, that one, that transmitter that's in the radio and the receiver itself, those seem to be pretty good. Like I've had good range. I've never had that go out of range, but I've had a few of the Traxxas TQs, which is their low end radio, go out of range. So I would just do that. Um, let's see here. I love the chat. I'm trying to get, oh, you're trying, okay, Chris, trying to be able to uh, do your own. Yeah, they changed it. Um, so Chris, yeah, you're trying to get your, you know, so see, like I'm on my mobile phone to do my chat right now or the live stream. But if you have a PC and you have a webcam or whatever, you can do it then. You just you can do it from a PC. You just can't do it from a mobile phone to do your live stream like I do right now until you hit a thousand subscribers. Worth it, bro. 
Chris. Um, let's see here. Let's see what. Oh, but Chris, you're talking about as far as your son, yeah? Uh, let's see here, Chris. I think he'll be out driving. <laughs> be and he'll be out driving you pretty soon, as far as that one go. At two, hey, that'd be cool, man. I mean, as far as to have, I can't think of what it is. Motor skills, whatever you want to call it. I'm trying to think of like the coordination, more or less. I like the Red Cat uh, a lot. Do you think that they're becoming a major player in the RC industry? My five-year-old daughter. Loves my RC cars. Do you think the Red Cat... Oh, Piranha is a good starting for a five-year-old? Yeah, I mean, the Piranha. Okay, so the Piranha... It's basically, I think it's this thing, anyhow. It's the same manufacturer, if I'm not mistaken. BSD Racing. This is the... If I'm not... Let's see, the Piranha. So the Piranha has the blue body that's on there. I think it's exclusive to... Who is it? Is that to Amazon, if I'm not mistaken? Is it Amazon? I think it's Amazon. <clears throat> There's like two different ones. If I'm not... I think it's same thing I think it's the same chassis or whatever because what's there's the piranha and then there's another one too <clears throat> excuse me but this is good I mean the plastics on or whatever so I think this is gonna if I'm not mistaken this should be a pretty good idea because I can get stuff this is interchangeable with the red cat stuff as this is where red cat gets their stuff BSD racing or wherever BSD racing gets their stuff or whatever it is so yeah, it's not a bad vehicle for five years old or whatever, kind of running around and everything like that. The only thing I would say is, you know, it's part support on it. So, you know, you can go over to Red Cat or our website too. And, well, I think we still have parts for Piranha. We just don't carry it because it is um, uh, specific to a certain uh, retailer. So, but, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, I have a little brushless system that's in it too. It's got a, like a 5,800 kV motor that's in here. And I don't know how fast, I think it goes like 40 something miles an hour or whatever it is. It might go faster, I haven't even checked. But it's not bad, everybody's gonna give you different ideas like, oh, you know, but if that's what you want and it's under a hundred bucks anyhow, so it's pretty cheap, you know, go with something like that too. It's five years old, run, you know, drive, drive it around. I'd just say, just to kind of get more or less your feet wet on RC stuff before you spend more money on something, I think it's not a bad deal. But, um, you know, if you want more like a bonding type of thing, you know, you can always go with like, there are these, this is, this is, this is old school stuff anyhow, whatever. But, um, you know, you get to build one of these. So then your daughter knows the mechanics of it. You know, like, let's say a grasshopper. I think they're like, a, this thing might be like 110, but you got to put the electronics in there. But you're understanding, oh, it's got a receiver. It's got a, you know, electronic speed controller with it. It's got a motor. So you gotta understand everything about the car, not just like running it around. So if she's interested in it, she's like, oh, you can help her out. And then it's kind of like that bonding time uh, with you and your daughter on, you know, building up an RC car. So, I mean, that could be something, or maybe if she doesn't really like it, you know, go with something like that and it's less investment for you anyway. And then maybe opt for one of the a kit or something like that too. I don't know, just an idea. Uh, let's see, the product is like uh, 90 bucks, so something like that. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, that's inexpensive for something like that. But yeah, I mean, there's got to be a whole bunch, like 10 scales for all these, all the WL toys, da 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 There's going to be a whole bunch, of, a plethora of different RC cars that you could, we could be here all day. But if that's the one you're looking at, it's not bad. So, you know, you can pull the trigger on something like that. You still can get parts for it and what have you. And it's still hobby grade where you can replace parts on it too. So Red Cat is getting better in the crawler game. I definitely would highly agree with that one, Chris. I love Red Cat. Their crawlers are great, man. I mean, as far as like the scale truck stuff, I like it. Uh, you know, you know, I haven't. Do I have much experience in it? No, but I would say from my experience with it, they're pretty good. Um, you know, the Everest Ten. This guy tracks his body. That's on there. It's pretty good. I had someone say, "Why did you make it brushless?" You know, I had a brushless system that was in it on the Everest 10. It's a rock crawler. It goes one mile an hour. It's probably as fast as it'll go. 
you know, super geared down just to get, you know, that torque and everything like that. You know, it's got a high turn motor that's in there, so it doesn't spin very fast anyhow, but it's got more torque in it. But to say that, 150 bucks, comes with battery, comes with charger, comes with everything you need, and then you got a crawler. It's get in the game, have some fun with it. So I like that Red Cat has those price points for it. So I think they're a pretty decent contender when it comes to the RC stuff. They're not bad at all. And I think they have quite a bit of different, they're starting to get a little bit more range for people that are a little bit more serious into the RC stuff too. You know, someone that's a little bit more serious into it, this could be, you know, this is, you know, it's not a cheap RC car. So, you know, this has got a lot of power in it too. So you're gonna take a little bit more responsibility to drive something like this too. You're gonna have to have a little bit more skill set. You don't just give this to someone that doesn't know what they're doing. You know, and the, you know between this one and that one. So, you know, starting with something less expensive too, that, yeah, there's all different kinds of cars out there. It's just, it's wide open. I mean, it's like game on for all types of RC cars. So whatever you're looking for, you can pretty much find something. Um, so I like it. I think that, uh, let's see, I think the next, let's see, Chris, I think their, their next more will be a carpet buggy. <laughs> oh, you think, oh, Red Cat, you're thinking Red Cat? I don't know, Red Cat did say... Just, they're saying that there's something in the works. To what it is, I don't know what it is. But like I said before, I think it was even last week, I was like, companies are always gonna tell you that there's something in the works, cause, but they wanna change up, they wanna keep it fresh. So, and I see Red Cat is kinda starting to, uh, you know, move pieces around as far as RC stuff anyhow. They're trying to clean up a little bit here and there. And I think they wanna still be that fast, affordable, fun as what they started with, but they wanna have other things as well. I think this is, Getting in there. The crawler is a prime example of still affordable crawler and portal axle. I mean, it pretty much was like, you know, you had Traxxas and then you had, where did Red Cat came out with something? It was like, wow. And then, of course, everybody else started kind of after that with the portal axle. So it's been good. I, I've liked the journey of Red Cat, anyhow. Uh, let's see the uh, mini. Oh, let's see here. Look at the CRC as well. They have pretty affordable, yeah. Hey Jeff, I figured out how to. Oh, let's see here. Chris, no, I haven't. Oh, let's see here. Red Cat is is Taiwan. Yeah, I think it's Taiwan. There's a lot of stuff. It's Taiwan, wherever China, you know. So you can flip most of these cars over, or whatever. They're gonna have some kind of badging of where they came from, um, overseas of some sort. So I mean, there's nothing like really. You guys can let me know. Is there a manufacturer here in the U.S.? Really? No? I don't think so. I mean, at one point in time, what I think it's got too expensive to manufacture stuff here, too, which sucks. It would have been nice if there was more stuff here. So they're like, oh, we're importing stuff over. We've got to wait, you know, you know, two months to get something in instead of having it here in the U.S. But, you know, that's how the game's changed. Good or bad, however you want to look at it, it's just evolving. So... And I mean, I'm not really like, I'm not branded to any one particular RC brand or company, but um, you know, like Red Cat was there for me in the very beginning too. But I, nonetheless, I mean, if they had crappy stuff or whatever, um, you know, I've had some of their stuff that's like, eh, it's not so great, you can get rid of it. Um, but the stuff I've kept, I've liked it. So we'll see how this one goes too. You know, it's like Team Corrali is kind of another one. It's new to the game when it comes to the RTR trucks and stuff like that. So we'll have to see how they evolve in that area as well. I mean, they're coming in pretty strong, you know, given a little bit of Arma, you know, run at some point. And nonetheless, it's just fun to have more RC vehicles to uh, be able to pick and choose from too. Yeah, but let's see here. Yee! <laughs> Tent scale. <laughs> you had to say that, really? Really, Jeff? The R5, really? Really, we had to go there, <laughs> like so. Come on, man. The R5, we don't even talk about it anymore. We don't talk about that. Yee! <laughs> exactly, right. Billy Basher. Oh, let's see. Billy Basher is camera shy at the at the moment. Oh, Billy Basher, who's Billy? Oh, did I miss somebody? Billy Basher? No. Let's see. Ignore what was supposed to be a message. Oh, okay. 
Uh, let's see here. Red Cat. What's the KT-12? Not good. Had two of them. Sold them. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what those are. I don't know what the KTs. Some of the older stuff, too. I mean, they still have some of the other old stuff lingering that they still sell. But um, I think like their Team Red Cat, they're kind of switching a lot of that stuff up, too. So they don't call this Team Red Cat anymore. I don't think so, right? No. Just It's just uh, the Kaiju. It's not like, oh, Team Cat, Team Red Cat, Kaiju. And they don't even say, they just say Red Cat now. They don't. That was kind of like their little bit of their upper level of RC cars, I think, is what they were, that was what they were doing. So that was more of their premium line. But I think they're just kind of trying to go with one and they're not saying like, oh, this is our more top tier and this is not. I just, we'll have to see. But um, it's interesting as far as with Red Cat anyhow. But I think it's going to give you quite a bit of bang for the buck. You know, nonetheless, I mean, I think ultimate bang for the buck, and I'll stand behind this one all day long. I think the shredder, for the price point, okay, so you got 350 bucks, 300, sorry, 360 bucks, we'll call it 400 bucks. If I had to choose between one or the other, can't tell you yet, because why well, I haven't driven this one. So, but um, for the size of it, if you just want a large size, it's going to be 4S power. Still delivers pretty good. It still goes you know, like around 40 plus miles an hour out of the box. Well, not, I mean, yeah, that thing goes 40 miles an hour out of the box. Got to go a little bit of, probably like 41, 42, somewhere right around there. I think it's where I was at before. Nothing really fast, but it was 4S power. It's all good. You could, you know, probably switch out the electronic speed controller to, you know, 150 amps, and you could probably push the motor on 6S for how long, I don't know, until it decides to fizzle out, you know. Um, but I would... You know, 4S, I'm, I'm, I'm good with it. It just soars through the air pretty well. So, yeah. I was kind of good with that one still. But when we're ready, let's see here. I'll be, I'll but name, talk to you. Oh, is Jeff what? Let's see. Seriously, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so, what is that? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Mr. Tim. Do the tire, oh, I missed something. I think Tim was trying to, let's see here. Seriously, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so I have to think you're being sarcastic. I don't I don't know as far as that one, Mr. Rally 46. Rally 46, is that the same one? I don't know about that one too. Uh, do the tires on the Kaiju balloon as bad as the landslide? I don't know yet. Can't tell you yet. Um, I did run this thing on 3S just holding it up and it just, there was a little distortion just, or a little bit of ballooning. It is a little bit on the curve, so it really didn't do much on 3S, but that's half its power. So not until you give it full juice there will I really know. I'm gonna say they're gonna balloon. To how the extent of them, it's hard to say. But, okay, so this is 6S power. I've run these tires on my Kronos off-road. They balloon but it was still controllable. It's not like they were like pizza cutters. Because I'm going to say pizza cutters, well, if that goes to... Everybody's okay. <laughs> uh, the Hyper. So the Habao Hyper, whatever, the Hyper Plus or Hyper MT Plus 2. This one, pizza cutters all day. That one balloons like crazy. Those are my worst, I think, let's see, those are the worst because that's got the power to them. I gotta say those because it does a wheelie and then they go like triple their size and then of course it exploded on me too. So those are really bad. You gotta put some different tires on those. Even off road, they balloon quite a bit. They, 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 well, when you do a wheelie with them. So I don't know to ask, answer your question on that one. Sorry, I keep going down that rabbit hole. Almost like fighting myself. <laughs> That's crazy. Jesse, you don't know what I'm talking about? Uh, let's see here. I don't know name. Let's see. Let's see, you, Jeff, if you're talking to me, I won't, oh, let's see, I won't have a name if you talk in chat, Chris, oh, Red Cat released the, uh, the Kano, oh, yeah, the Camo TT, the X, yeah, the X4, they also released the fifth scale, that thing sucked, the fifth scale, yeah, that fifth scale one, electric monster truck that was intended to compete with the X-Max, which it never could. It was horrible. Yeah, the the R5 was, there was no way it would even touch an X-Max, hands down. It, it broke 
when Red Cat was running it. It was horrible. But the problem is, uh, as the company, as a company or whatever, they already kind of. I think they pretty much. They didn't say, "Hey, let's try out one of those vehicles before we actually get them." Like we order a bunch of them. So I don't know what R and D they did with them. They're like, "Okay, well, let's get it." Because I don't know who it came from exactly or what happened with all that. But with the R five from Red Cat, you know. But that was a flop. So they got all recalled anyhow. And maybe somebody, some, maybe some people like this held on to it anyhow, for whatever reason. But yeah, they were, they were. That was a disaster. Um, but yeah, I mean, I know they have like the Camo TT. Those aren't really for me. I don't really care for the solid axle and the independent suspension in the front, and then the solid axle in the rear too much. Not on those cars. I'm more of an on-road type person anyhow, and that didn't really do it for me. It was rolling over. I mean, it's traction rolling. It's constantly. Uh, it's not made for on-road use. So it really didn't fit my needs. And that's why I ask people too, like, oh, I want something that, I want an RC car that's 250 bucks. You gotta fill in the blanks, man. You gotta, you gotta let me know a little bit more of what you're kind of looking to do. You know, those are the kind of things, like people just randomly say like certain things even on our website. I'm like, what? Like, you need to be a little bit more specific. What are you looking to do? I mean, a truck's gonna kind of fill in a lot of those voids where you can run on-road, you can run it off road. You can jump it. You can bash it a little bit, but um, you know, with cars, you're like, okay, well, you're gonna run it on a smooth surface. You know, you gotta be careful of all the little bumps and things, debris that are on the road to take into consideration. And are you a new driver or whatever else? So you know, speeds are definitely a thing. You know, I don't want. I don't think it's like the wisest thing to do is give someone a, a 70 mile an hour RC car that's never driven an RC car before. Now, what you could do with a, one of those powerful, let's say something like this. You could tone it down to, uh, you know, put it on a, you know, a, it's still a bad idea, <laughs> to be honest with you. But you could go with a, a low, you know, like a single cell and, you know, tune it down that way and then run it slower. But anyway, I, no one asked that. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I was talking about the R5. But I don't know what it is. Oh, oh, the R5. You don't know what the Jeff C. You don't know what the R5 is. It's a monster truck. It was a one-fifth scale monster truck. And... Uh, you can look, you can Google it too. I think the Red Cat R5, but it was, uh, yeah, it was, I was, when I saw the video, Red Cat released it. They're like, yeah, you know, my, my rep was calling me or we were talking or whatever. And he's like, yeah, you, you want to get one of those? And I was like, I don't want one of those. First, it's too much money for me from what I'm seeing in your videos. I'm not going to pull the trigger on that. I said, the thing was slow. So they're like, oh, okay. you know, okay. And then we had the, I had the uh, Camo TT. I didn't, did I? I didn't, Camo TT. What was the other one? Anyway, the X, the X4, Camo TT. I had the Camo TT because that's the, more of the uh, Baja truck, whatever. What am I thinking? Like, not a stadium truck. What's the other one? Short course truck. It's kind of more or less for that one. And then the X4 was more of your open cab, but it's still the same platform, different tires on it. And it didn't really do much for me. Uh, but yeah, Red Cat had some kind of bloopers on the X5, which broke. And it was like, well, okay, we're breaking stuff. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Gucci. Is Gucci in the house? Gucci. Sorry, man, I'm late. Gucci, better late than never, bro. <laughs> What's up, man? Let's wait and see what uh, Kevin <laughs> smashes this. Oh, yeah, well, I imagine so. He's going to smash them all. I mean, there's not anything that he... But he's having fun. So, I mean, that's the thing. It's like, run your truck. People, oh, you know... Sometimes this... Uh, it gets a little it gets a little bit crazy. I got to say. Yeah, the TT, the trophy truck. Yeah, trophy truck. Yeah, that's it, TT. So, yeah, the TT, TT. Yeah, I didn't care for it that much. My brother. Oh, let's see here. Good video on how to probably vent your tires. Oh. Oh, you have a... I was going to do... You know, it's funny that I had a... I started to do a video on it, and I was like, you know what? Forget it. I didn't really see that. I didn't really notice much of a difference to it to make it a video that I was going to do on it. But if you vent the tire that it needs to be vented and you know you can see it deform and everything like that you're like yeah i mean venting like i had to do venting on uh can you see that yeah you can see it anyway this is a flat like kind of like a belted tire anyhow i don't know what they're called but anyway 
it got into water, and of course I had to vent them because I needed to get uh, water out of the tire anyhow. So that was to do. You needed I needed to do it. It was like uh, iron. What is that? <laughs> My soldering iron. I was like, Psh. I did one on the, on one side of it, and then I flipped around to the uh, opposite side of it and stuck my soldering iron in there to vent them. Uh, and then I just let it rip. There goes all the water splashing out of there. So yeah, I mean, venting is good, but uh, it didn't help what I was looking to do with some other tires. Um, if, for speed, if they deform, they still deform. I mean, they still balloon. It's just not enough. Not enough for me. There's a big difference and your tires will last longer. Um, yeah, I mean, I started to do it on, on my other one that blew the tires up on it. So, yeah, I could understand as far as that one goes. But I, I ran, I started to do like a little test with it. I wasn't, I didn't like it enough. But I'm going to do it anyhow, just because of the fact on my, I'm looking down like you guys know what I'm talking about. But um, the Hyper, the uh, MT whatever, plus two thingamajag, <laughs> as far as that one. Yeah, yeah it's a <laughs> 10 scale garage, funny guy. Copper brake lines, venting. <laughs> what? The kaiju means monster in Japanese. Yeah, I think someone else was saying something like that. But uh, yeah, Tensky Garage talking about the uh, clawback. So that was the funny thing. Oh, uh, you know what? We should maybe put that on there. Should we put the clawback on there? We can just uh, dwarf these other so-called looking bigger vehicles. <laughs> Make it look all small like it's a 12th scale vehicle. Uh, let's see here. But yeah, Chris, I mean, I, I'll bring a I'm going to try it anyhow as far as the venting. I've, like I said, I've done it before. So, and it worked for what I wanted to do. And I, like I said, I tested it and didn't do what exactly what I wanted to do with it. Uh, the ZD Racing, DHK, any good? I guess it depends on what vehicles you're looking at, too. Um, let's see, if I had to choose between the ZD Racing and the DHK, depends on what it is. If you're going like the Maximus, see, I only owned the Maximus for, I think I ran it only a couple times and then I sold it over, I only ran it once. I only ran it, yeah, I ran it once and I sold it to my friend Brian. And then of course I gave him a car and then it's like, oh, the servo was, I ran it through the water and apparently the servo wasn't that great on it or it got wet and seized up or something happened with it. So that was that. Um, but a lot of the screws have been coming out in the Maximus. I don't know. So it is a good truck. Like it's a pretty cool running truck anyhow. If you can get past as far as, you know, Loctiting the screws that are on it. I think other than that, the screws would be, if once you Loctite the screws, that would be good. It's a good truck. <laughs> so that's that. That's what I've seen. Um, this one here, so this is a ZD Racing that's up here anyhow. Yeah, Yixing, whatever. Okay, this will... These aren't the tires that come with it. Let's see, what is this? Ooh. Uh... This thing, this is a 1 8 scale here. It's a little bit bigger than this guy, just by a little bit. Let's see. Just a little bit. Those seem to match. Mm, I know that's not what you're asking, but I'm just looking. So it's pretty much the same as far as the, the wheelbase on this one. This this wheelbase is just a tad bit shorter than the Yixing. But the plastics on it are not that great. So this is ZD Racing. It's still ZD Racing plastics. I did smack into a, a pole. So, you know, it's a bumper. Um, so anyway, I would kind of say like, and I clipped that bumper probably doing like 20 something miles an hour too. I was like, oh, I was trying to drive. I was like, somebody was pissing me off. So I was like, and um, some other guy I was trying to record something. I got aggravated and I wasn't paying attention to my car. It's like, bing. And then I was like, crap, stupid car. Not the car, but I'm just talking about disturbing me while I was trying to record. So anyway, um, yeah, then I busted up my. So, I mean, I don't know, as far as the tune, how many RCs have you had in total? I don't know. I've had probably, just in the last year, probably 50, 60 RC cars or something. I got, I don't know how many I have now. I think we're around like 25 or something like that, but I've had 
a lot of different RC cars just in the last year or so. Um, and then down, as far as the rest of the time, I mean, I've only had a few in the past. So I'd say like in the last couple of years, I've had a lot more than I've had ever in my past history. So, because I wasn't, I was into it, but I was a kid, you know, running and, you know, paying for the RC car. So now that, you know, being an adult, this is what I do for the business and stuff like that too, that, uh, you know, I've had quite a few. So I might not know how to, uh, explain some stuff or whatever like that on some of it. I know what I'm doing, but, you know, but I don't know everything obviously, but I can figure things out too. So, I mean, I'm all about troubleshooting stuff anyhow. So and that's what I did for a job for a long time was troubleshooting networks. LEDs, electronics, so uh, I'll figure it out. So, yeah. Let's see, have you tried the Kyosho Mini Z? I haven't tried it. Uh, Eddie? Eddie L? <laughs> Eddie Lynn? Yeah, I haven't tried it as far as when it comes to the Kyosho Mini Zs, because they're just too expensive. To me, they're just too expensive. I mean, I know they're licensed vehicles, but I can get licensed vehicles for a lot cheaper, and the Mini Z is just too expensive, man. Uh, I know it's it's been around for what they hit their twenty year anniversary, but come off the price, man. So it's just ex that's reality. I just feel like they're you're not gonna get me buying one anytime soon because they're just even just as a dealer too. I mean, for you guys to buy one that they're like two hundred bucks, we're talking a little tiny dude. It doesn't cost that much to manufacture it. I'm sorry, I know it doesn't. So for them to say, well, you know, it's got a lot of uh, time invested in it or whatever like that. Well, what do you invest? You guys don't invest any time into these bigger scale cars. You know, I can get like the, let's say, you get any of the uh, phaser stuff. That's all licensed vehicles as well. You know, they go faster than that little tiny thing. So I don't know. Yeah. So those kind of, like, I, I just don't get what, how people, why they spend that much. I mean, you can put it, it's got a sp smaller form factor. Yeah, you can ride, you can, you know, do it in a smaller space and it's cool. But I think they're just gouging you on the price. So, RB6.6 .6. that I like, Eddie. I see. Uh, let's see, I know I had. Have you tried? Oh, yeah. How many are. Yeah, that's what I said. Sorry about the spamming. You said that you would give me. I don't know what. I don't know what these conversations are, some of them. Uh, the rubber will stay in shape. Because, I mean, I understand, like, it's, okay, so, like, the venting thing, I mean, you can't change my mind, right? I mean, there's venting is cool, and it helps, for sure, but there's nothing that's going to beat a belted tire. It's going to keep it, it's going to keep it nice and flat. Because if that was the case, ProLine wouldn't come out where they would just say, vent your tire, and then it would be, you know, no deform. But, I mean, ProLine does have videos, and they say, oh, you know, you can vent these tires and what have you like that. Because you can't vent a, a belted tire. You're going to screw it all up. You're going to rip the belt in it. But, um, but yeah, I mean, but again, the belting like for, or the venting is good for, uh, you know, even if you're racing as far as when it comes like this guy here too. So this would be a good idea to vent these as well. Um, I'm sure of it because they're going to deform. Uh, so they're going to be all weird looking. And then if I vent them, they'll have at least have a nice consistent shape. They might still balloon but they'll be not all like to one side or whatever like that so they'll they'll be better for sure and that because i think i think it's these if i'm not mistaken i think these don't really have any holes in them anyways there's some of them anyway i don't want to go down that rabbit hole yeah no yeah don't yeah that's what i just said don't vent you don't vent belted tires for sure uh i like I would like to get a Mini Z. Yeah. If you said the word I was spamming. Oh. Oh, okay. So I shouldn't say anything then. <laughs> well, he's going to have to give me the money before I. So you're going to have to. Uh, he's going to have to drop a super, a super chat. So you have to get the money before I can say the word. So you have to give me money, then I'll give you money. Then your brother will give you money. <laughs> Gotta drop a super chat. Oli. <laughs> Let's see here. That's uh, USD. $240 for a Mini Z. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Eddie. I mean, what do you guys think? Mini Zs. I mean, if you, if you want to spend the money on it, cool, man. I do like them. 
just don't like the price of them. But I do, I was, I almost bought two of them at the one, this was last year. This one, the Civic Type R, I was like, oh man, I love the Civic Type R. Sorry, some of you guys don't, whatever. I like it. I'm a Honda Life guy. So, um, anyway, the Civic Type R, I was like, okay, give me, I want one of those. And they had the shells too. And I was like, oh, I want to get that. And I was like, you know what? How much does that cost me? This cost me, you know, I bought a, I was going to buy a couple of them. I'm like, dang, man, it's like 500, 600 bucks I had started to buy. And I was like, what am I doing, man? This is too expensive. This is too much money. You're asking, wait, it's too much, man, for that little tiny dude. And then when I get him, like, seriously, I spent all that on that. But, um, you know, it is easier for, like, smaller hobby shops and everything with the smaller footprint, you know, as far as their square footage to do those races, gets everybody involved. It's just the price. It's just, like, the price don't need to be as much. That's the thing. If they were doing it for some of those cars, I think some of them are, like, a like around a hundred bucks, like they're either two wheel drive, they're a little bit, I don't know all their dynamics to them, like their brushed motors, you can get brushless ones, you can get their pro models, you know, four, front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of different things with the brushless, the brushed, all different, you can get all the little aluminum pieces and bits and pieces like that too. It's just like mind blown as far as like why, <laughs> so much. So Sorry, I can rant on that, it's just me. Go drive this beast and get back to us on the handling yeah yeah hot to Chris as far as the handling on this one. Oh, let's see here let's see the handling and if it flips over easy because I want one oh yeah Chris you, as far as that one goes just get one man get it um, I, I mean red cat well we have them too like I said um, as far as the kaiju, but um, what are they gonna say? So they're gonna get another shipment in come May. So I mean, right, we we still have them. We get them, get them shipped out to you. You know, you place it today, we get it shipped to you out. It'll go out Monday or so, anyhow, Monday, Tuesday. Uh, but we just had, but honestly, I mean, for what it is, let's see, I wanna see this bumper a little So, I mean, looking at the, I mean, yeah, I could dissect this thing and everything. Like, I don't like to do those types of videos exactly like, oh, this should be different, that should be different, this should be this, this should be, I mean, it is what it is. This is the vehicle, this is what you get, right? But I will say, as far as like the bumper on here, I do like the bump, like the, the plastics feel, they're a little bit harder, right? So, um, on the bumper area, it should be, it needs to be a, a plastic that's still, like these plastics here where they're pretty flimsy now you can twist them they can distort or whatever like that but you get some of these harder plastics like i get it they're trying to you're still trying to stop something before it collides you just take the impact but i feel like i like those ones whatever traxxas has them too it's got that little ring that's around there so it absorbs this one's got a funky shape to it and i feel like it's going to snap there the plastics aren't like saw i can push them in or whatever like that too but you don't want those rigid plastics that's what Oops, now I'm, I'm trying to push on these, but see how it doesn't, it doesn't really want to collapse in. You want the bumper to give a little bit. And I think that's where some of these manufacturers just don't think about that. I don't know why they don't. And that's kind of a little aggravating that we got a bumper and you, you made it too rigid. So yeah, that's that. Uh, let's see here. Do you still stock still for sale? Uh, let's see here. Okay. Let's see, how long is this video going to go for? <laughs> Forever. It's a, this is a never-ending video. <laughs> Most of the hobby shops is dead. Hard to... Oh, yeah, it's for the... Or, or hard into the mini-Zs. Yeah. Let's say, the, let's say they put the track... Okay, it's... Yeah, that's the thing. Let's go... Let's stop. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, it's all different locations. For me, uh, Bill... I mean, yeah, as far as like... Log, I've seen a lot of hobby shops do have the mini Z courses, whatever, and it's more like all year round, right? Because, um, you know, any places that have uh, snow or whatever conditions, whatever, where you can't be outside at those times, it's cool. Just you can go inside, you can run them at the hobby shop. It brings in more customers. They can buy the parts right there on, on scene. So it's good for them. I mean, if I had a local hobby shop or something, I'd probably have one of them too. Like, here, here you go. Here's an expensive RC car you can buy. Um, the other thing is just not a lot of profit in it too, but it just, it just depends on, anyway, you guys look at it from one way, I look at it from another way, as a dealer, 
I just feel like it, it's just like, wow, it's just, I, yeah, there's just, it's still expensive for me to buy one of them. So, um, I don't know. But it's cool. Yes, in Florida, fashion all year round tracks during the winter. Yeah. So, yeah, it just depends. Let's see. But, uh, yeah, I do have some, Chris. Yeah, we have them. You can order one. Yeah, we have them on our website, omgrc.com. If you're looking to get a kaiju, a kaiju. Uh, yeah, we've got them. So, I mean, if you place an order, like I said, we'll get them out to you. It's just that I had UPS come today, and uh, these were all pre-order sales. So I kept one for myself that wasn't for a customer or anything like that. So all of our customers were taken care of. It's that first initial rush, and uh, uh, even Red Cat's like, okay, uh, how many do you need? Because at first I was like, crap, man, is this going to be – like start, people started ordering from me. And I was like, man, how many do I need to order? And they're like, you can only get six, man. So I was like, hey, can I get six? Well, then give me six. So six sold out within like three days. And I was like, crap, man, we're going to need to get more. So I called them up. This was like Monday then. The, the pre-order wasn't very long before the, the vehicles were already in. So I kind of – I like that because I don't like that whole like two months. Like seriously – this is way too long for a pre-order. You don't say nothing until a month you know when it's going to come in. Because if you start letting the cow out of the bag too early, you know, it's, it sucks. Because the fact that um, you lose the hype. So I like it within like a week or two. Like, yeah, we're going to get them in. And boom, got them in. And then that way people can order them up. So it's, it's all good. So then, yeah. But I thought this, this is going to be, I think it's going to be a good vehicle anyhow. We'll see how everything kind of works out. But for me, I'm not really too, uh, again, I'm not really a basher. I guess not. I mean, bashing is kind of like, you know, bashing is more or less uh, loosely where it's just like, you just drive it like you stole it, more or less. That's how really the bashing is. Yeah, you jump it, you, you do whatever, you just all out, whatever. But I mean, some of the people are like, oh, you bash, that's not bashing. Well, if you're jumping it and stuff like that, you're kind of bashing it anyhow, right? Uh, but you know, there's other extremists that take bashing to a whole new level where they're jumping it way up in the air. And I'm not extreme like that. So, because I know when it comes down, I probably won't, I might not land it so well. And then, uh, snap. So, and I don't want to, I don't like spending a lot of money on the same vehicle over and over and over again. I like to, I like to drive it and then, you know, just have fun with it. But, uh, at my own fun. So, yeah, it's hard to say. First, I think he has a, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Florida. So yeah, for, yeah. I mean, in Florida, it's all good all year round, pretty much. I want to know if the uh, if the handling on the six S power or rollover all the time. So I don't know as far as the six S power on this thing too, because it, it does have a pretty short wheelbase, so it's a little bit tiny bit shorter than this one here. And we know that this well, I don't know. I haven't driven this one. I've had this thing for over a week now. I haven't done anything with it. That just tells you that. Eh. I had someone say you're not gonna like it. I was like, well like it or not I mean it's mine and uh, it was nice because I won it and I just kind of been wanting to kind of keep it nice anyhow because I already have my chronos so I was like I already know what kind of power is in that thing it's got a lot of power in it I try to gear it up whatever um, but nonetheless I, it does flips and it's got a crap load of power that's in it so I can imagine this thing's gonna with a little bit shorter wheelbase on it you're gonna do some crazy stuff with it so and then uh, RC driver, he had one of these. He put it on 4S, and he was able to do almost three flips with it. I don't know how high he did it because he didn't capture it on video, which is kind of odd. So I'm not really sure why. I mean, when you're out running around and you have, you're have you doing videos for your channel, shouldn't you be running it all the time as far as that camera and taking the, the videos out? So I'm not sure why he didn't show that. No, I'm not 100% sure what happened with it. Uh, but I know as far as on 6S, um, these tires are going to balloon. That's that's a given already. They're not belted. They're going to balloon. It's just depending on the compound of it and stuff like that too. But I, I just... I'm going to get a running video of it here soon and then I can get into what I do and don't like about it. But I like the tires just because they look cool anyhow. Like, they look nicer. But yeah, I can tell I'm getting a little bit on their irk side for some reason. I don't know. My mood's changing. I want to know if the handling on... Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bashing is kind of like... Yeah, like Hoonan. Exactly. You're just kind of like... A, exactly. So you're just like out jumping stuff, whatever. 
just having a good time. I yeah. wish I had more areas that I could find that were definitely. Oh, you got them. not right the second. Okay. Yeah. Can I just leave it in here? Though? Yeah, you can leave it. For the. Please subscribe and turn on those notifications so you can be notified when a video is posted. Right. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click and smash that bell button. Smash that like button. That's right. Button. That's my daughter. Smash it. Smash it. Smash it. Smash. I, oh, yeah, you were. That's right. You're doing laundry today. You forgot. No, I thought you would forget. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. I just, I saw mom said to sing on my phone. <laughs> yeah, bash. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right on. Yeah, I'll be down here soon. No. Okay, yeah, that way you don't have to do the laundry. <laughs> That's cool. What's the, oh, let's see here. Tim, what state am I in? I'm in happy Florida. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, it, oh, happy, is it really? Happy Valentine's Day? Happy oh, happy Valentine's Day. I thought that was already done. <laughs> see, I don't know. Chris, I got you. Uh, let's see. I just subscribed to Tensky Rise if you want to see. Oh, okay. Good videos to subscribe to back. Oh, right on. I totally bumped the same. Oh, let's see. Yeah, but uh, Jeff C. Yeah, bashing. First of the year, and oh, let's see. First in the in the RC. Let's see, Mr. Bill. I want to bash super hard. A lot of, of beginners. A lot of beginners' lux. But once I started breaking things, see that's the problem, man. Bashing, <sighs> the fixing. See, I feel like it's like racing, bashing. And that's what burned me out on the racing. I started to get back into it. I'm like, crap, man, breaking stuff. I need to upgrade stuff. I'm like, you know what? That's what I'm not about. So I don't like dumping the money all into one vehicle. Like, oh, yeah, I upgraded this. I upgraded that. It's like, uh, honestly, I mean, to be real with you guys right now, um, with my vehicles, I'll run them for a little bit. I Sometimes I get bored with them kind of quick, and I move on. So for me to actually invest more money into upgrading the parts on it, it's just not my, my train of thought as far as it's just I can't stay with something too long. So I'm constantly going through different vehicles. You'll see different vehicles on the channel, and it keeps me more interested in it because if I stay stagnant with one vehicle. Now, there's some vehicles here that I'll pull off, the, off of here, and I'll run them again because I'm like, oh, I kind of want to run that again. So I'll keep them a little bit. But then there's going to be those other vehicles that are going to come on here, and they're going to come, and they're going to go. Uh, I did get rid of... I've gotten starting to get rid of some more of them too. That you'll start to see more of them leave or whatever. So I mean, like I did this one here too. This thing's front heavy because it's front wheel drive. Like this thing's kind of cool. I'm gonna have a video up on it pretty soon. It's front wheel drive RC car. I haven't driven it yet, but um, I like it. Like as far as I'm in, again, I'm into the Honda stuff anyhow. It's kind of been my thing for a while. I you know, I haven't had too many different car manufacturers, but uh, as far as Honda manufacturer, it's been a reliable one for me. That's just my personal opinion. And it's the same thing with RC cars too, to try to find something like what you like. I haven't really found like that RC brand that's like, oh, that's the one I really, really like. I just kind of bounce around. And I think that's kind of the, in my case, that's kind of where you should be. Kind of bounce around, you know, tasting, you know, getting your feel for different RC cars too. Because it, it, it kind of be boring just to be with one brand. Like I'm not brand um, loyalty as far as that one goes. I just kind of looking at, uh, the post I can adjust on there too. This one didn't have it. Anyway, that's me getting scattered. So yeah, it's hard for me to stay with with vehicles for a long time. I get bored. Like I don't really want to run that anymore. So it just sits on the shelf or whatever. Or it bothered me. My next RC car is the Rustler VXL. Oh, that's cool, Eddie. I had the VXL. I had the Rustler 4x4 VXL. Well, I got both Rustlers. So I had had both of those Rustlers. The VXL was pretty fun. I did sell it uh, a little while ago as far as and uh, but it was a good little car too. It was, I liked it. Uh, but it just kind of like I had the same taste in my mouth when it comes to, it's kind of the slash, you know. It's a little bit shorter. I think the chassis is a little bit shorter, or whatever. But it's kind of the same thing. It's kind of like redundancy after a while. It's like boring. Like it's the same thing kind of with this. That's why I like I haven't really like ooh haven't been real excited about it, just because of the fact that yeah, it's a little bit shorter chassis. It's all the same electronics in it. It's got the same wheels on there. It's got a different body, whatever. But at, at the end of the day, it's basically the same thing for the most part, the Kronos. So it's not one I'm like, ooh, I'm jumping to go and drive and see how it handles. This one I want to see how it handles because it is a totally different beast. I haven't had this. So this one's a lot, this is more exciting for me than this one. 
and uh, you know, it's two wheel drive as far as yeah. So anyway, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's kind of like getting it's kind of like getting married. Yeah, I don't want to. You gotta stay single as far as with the RC stuff. We're just mingling. Just want to kind of keep it loose. And just uh, you know, have fun with them. So that's for sure. And it's probably a good idea. And you know, I have a channel like this too. I can kind of show you a little bit, but I just don't know for the long run. Like, oh, you know, is this thing still running or whatever? Like, ah, I got rid of it. Because I've had people uh, leave messages and they're like, hey, how is it still running or whatever? I'm like, I got rid of that a long time ago. I only ran it a couple of times. So if you don't see it on the channel after a while, typically, or you don't see it behind me, unless I start getting more RC cars that I just can't do anything more with on the wall, then, you know, <clears throat> some of them will be down on shelves or whatever like that. So, yeah, it's kind of... Yeah, switch it up. I like it. Just kind of, I want some, yeah, I want some more. I heard VXL is way better than the Arma. Mm, I don't know. I don't know about that, Eddie. As far as the V, I, let's see. I couldn't tell you. Because you're talking about like 3S system, talking about, you know, Arma's 3S system. I haven't had their 3S system. I've only had the Traxxas one. And then the VXL system, it's okay. I think it's a light duty 3, 3S. I don't know. I mean, I like the, I mean, it's hard to say. I feel like, the, I don't know, the Traxxas VXL system, I don't know how fragile it is or whatnot. I had an, an old VXL system before and it was getting really hot. So I, was, I put a little bit of water on it and it's like, and it just like, it burned up on me. I was like, wow, okay. So it says it's waterproof, but it wasn't really waterproof. But someone might have damaged it. This was like second hand or third hand um, Traxxas, Rust, or Traxxas Slash that I had. So I don't know what its life was before I got it. Um, so I imagine it must have been pretty rough. So, um, yeah. Later, Chris. Oh, man, sorry, Chris. Is Chris out of here? Chris. Okay, guys. So, yeah. Come on, Crazy Eddie. So, Crazy Eddie. So, yeah. All right. I think I'm, I'm done here anyhow. Uh, let's see here. I gotta go back and forth between vehicles. Uh, then I'll then I'll switch it up with the tires. Yeah, I mean the tires and everything like that too. Fresh squeeze has. Uh... Oh yeah, as far as okay, so RTRs are super fun. Fresh squeeze has a uh, interested is interested in. Oh yeah, as far as yeah, he's got the. Uh... Let's see, bye. I don't have any Losis. Yeah, I haven't had one of those yet as far as Losi goes on it. But yeah, the, the Nero, the Neo, the Neo 3.0 looks pretty good as far as from Kyosho. That one looks pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I've seen Fresh Squeeze, you know, Brandon, he has one. It looks like it's a good ripper as well. It's got a good spot, man. That's the main thing. I think that's what burns me out too. I'm like, oh, I gotta, I'm gonna go to the park. I'm gonna, I need some other locations to go to. That's why I talked to this other guy, uh, Tyson. He's like, yeah, I found another spot or whatever. I'm like, cool, man, because I'm, when I'm out on the weekends, I'm looking for scouring for part, you know other places to run to. Just nothing really kind of like jumps out at me as far as to where else to run. I found some spots, but nothing like crazy. And I'm like, oh man, I really want to have some some pretty awesome places. I need to go. I, I had someone else ask me like Lake Park. Anyway, it's a, a clay track. I've only been to it once. I did a video on it or whatever. Um, yeah, it's just kind of like I haven't been back out there. It's like a 45-minute drive or something like that. It's not too bad or whatever, but you got to have to prepare to be there for a while because, um, I don't know, you got to kind of get my money's worth out of it. As far, it's not much to get in. It's like two bucks or whatever. It's not that, it's not that I mean, money to drive out there. So you got, you know, you're down like an hour and a half or whatever, or whatever. So it's hard to say. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Just sell me all of them, the mad bugs. Oh yeah, as far as <laughs> Johnny talking about the mad bug. That mad bug, man, that thing's staying. I like the mad bug. I was kind of, it's funny that you say about the bug too, because I had an idea about like a Volkswagen, like the little bug too. I think, I do, I don't know. See, this kind of like my roots going back as far as like the Tamiya stuff. And I was kind of like, man, I kind of like, there's some other stuff that I like that's Tamiya too. It's not like I'm, I kind of like to build them. And not so much on the painting side of it. But I just like the building of what it's going to be like. And then when you get to drive it, just to see how it kind of like, oh, it's it's not all that, that, you know, it's not a performer. 
on some of them, but it's just kind of like that nostalgic, even though I didn't have them or whatever. I don't know. It's just the kit part of it. I just like kits. I like putting them together. I like tinkering. I like using screwdrivers. I like using tools and, you know, thinking about the stuff. You know, the driving part of it, it's it's fun, but it's not as fun as I, to be involved with the vehicle. Like, I, this would have been cool if it was something I had to put together. Like, oh, I'm going to have to put it together. That's part of, I don't know. Like, I think I, I felt like the hobbies lost that part of it. Maybe some people, like, I just want to run it. It's okay to, to cheat on Traxxas. There is a, definitely definitely a way hotter girls out there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, right? The, yeah. Yeah, there's all different. Yeah, there's a lot out there, man. There's so much, so many different RC cars out there. And it's good to get get your hands on some of them, too. Like, I mean, honestly, too. Where was it? Oh, this little dude. I mean, it's been a... This is one... I mean, this is a hot one. This is the hottest one on my channel, anyhow. But um, for the price point of it, it's less than 100 bucks. You know, you can get it for... It really was like an awesome little RC car. It's like, I wish I would have actually sold those on our website. We don't. We just got affiliate marketing with Banggood. But it was really cool little buggy. I was like, man, for under 100 bucks, this is not bad at all. You know, brush motor, you can put a bigger motor. This thing does now does like, you know, like 60 miles an hour. And 60 miles an hour is not bad on a little tiny little car like this. Like, really? Like, this thing can fit almost the side of here, and it does 60 miles an hour all day, you know? That I, I put a different little hobby wing system in there. So, yeah, I don't know. So, yeah, it's cool to kind of dabble in the small stuff, the bigger stuff. I get it as far as the, you know, the, the you know, those little, whatever I call them, <laughs> the mini Z's. I like them. Just, again, I just didn't like the, the fact that they were kind of pricey. Oh, let's see. It's okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Taylor. The Traxxas is freaking gorgeous. Uh, well, I mean, what Traxxas are you talking about? Not all of them are gorgeous, that's for sure. Some of them are kind of ugly. <laughs> but I do like, you know, again, if I sold those things too, I'd be like, yeah, you know which ones I'd be getting. I'd get the Bronco. I like the Bronco. I mean, if I had Arma too, I'd, I'd probably get like the uh, Granite. I'd get that one. I'd probably get the uh, Typhon. I'd get that one too because it'd be a little bit cheaper for me. So I'd get those. You know, the Limitless, it looks pretty awesome. I'd probably get the limit. You know, those would be, if I could get them at, at my cost a little bit, so it's, it offsets it a little bit. Just a little bit. It's not still tremendously a lot. But those would be the cars. I don't think I'd get, like, the big 8th scale, not 8th scale, the, uh, what, 5th scale, 6th scale, whatever, the Creighton 8S or whatever it is. That one doesn't really appeal to me that much on it. But uh, some of the other cars are pretty cool. So I like those. Uh, Traxxas... Some of the tracks and other stuff. There's the Losi stuff too, though. I don't know. There's some, there is a lot of cars out there. It's just like, wow, overload. I'm talking about. Oh, okay. I, you're talking about. I'm talking about uh, Traxxas social media manager. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Her name is uh, is Taylor. And she's mega hot. Oh, yeah. I've seen some of the Traxxas. They're, they're uh, whatever you call them, pinup girls, whatever you call them. Those girls. Yeah, I've seen them. I'm a, I mean, Traxxas got some is definitely into marketing. <laughs> so they got it right, that's for sure. Later, oh, fella. all right, Dusty Storms. See you, man. Peace out. Yeah, I'm going to head out of here, too. I'm going to get something to eat. Not tacos, either. <laughs> that's been, like, the running thing. Uh, let's see, 16. Yeah, we're going to get out of here, too, because it's been a long chat, and I think I've lost my mojo on this. I think I've, I've talked enough because this is really what I want to focus on anyhow with the Kaijo. The Kaijo. <laughs> the Kaiju. <laughs> See, that's where I'm... Yeah, we'll get a running video of this here. I'm going to have an unboxing of this tomorrow anyhow because I already just kind of did the video on it. So you'll see that one. I mean, you guys already watched it, so, you know, you're allowed to skip it or whatever. And then um, and I'll have a running video of it here soon. Probably have it, like, Monday. I'm going to see if I can get something... I'll probably, I'm going to try and run it tomorrow. We'll see how that works out. See how I feel after being baked in the sun for a little bit. Yeah, Eddie, I'm, I'm going to be... I usually have water or whatever. I can feel myself like, yeah. So then I get a little bit aggravated with some stuff. So, yeah. But I, yeah, I do get thirsty for sure. So I can feel it all. But yeah, I'm going to get out of here too, man. I appreciate all you guys dropping in here, seeing what's up. Smash that thumbs up before you get out of here. Yeah, I should have a drink. Yeah. It's Gucci Sunday. I just need to hang out with more people. I want to hang out with people like you guys. 
So I uh, and run some more RC cars. That see that lives me back up a little bit. It'd be cool. So we gotta get something. Anyway, take a break. Exactly, Eddie. I'm out of here, man. I'm taking a break. Taking your word, taking your advice. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Appreciate all the love and support, man. You guys are awesome. Have a great weekend, guys. So God bless you too as well, Jeff C. Appreciate you being one of my wrenchmen. <laughs> guys, peace, man. Gucci, he's out of here. I'm out of here too, man. See ya.